Whoa! Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 26 of the One Piece Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Is anyone here 26 years old? Okay, no. Well, we've ended that streak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the One Piece Dungeons and Dragons podcast. This is officially the one year anniversary of One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. Because um, we on the 28th of March is when we live streamed the first, the first ever episode. So it's been a year. It's been a whole year. Crazy. Hell yeah. I'm what really what have we learned, group? What have we learned? It's okay to kill old people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we learned yeah. that in the second episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we are working on some stuff. Uh, by we, I don't mean anyone here. I mean like me and Keiru are working on some stuff for like to celebrate one year, but that's still, we're still working on it. It will be like a, um, you know, like how One Piece has those like color spreads. Of of the of the crew, there's gonna be like a big image of the entire crew, um, and one of the uh, the eight flames as well, I think. And yeah. um, well, you showed us the uh, the rough sketch yeah. of that. It looks really good. Yeah. And so. yeah, we're gonna be doing that, and that's gonna be we're, we're gonna try and maybe sell that as posters or something. We'll do something with that, and it will be great. It will be amazing. It should be fun. It will be very exciting. Um, but in the meantime. We're just here to say thank you so much for watching us uh, for a year and keeping up and enjoying the story of the the boys in the One Piece universe and now in space. Um, now in space. Now in space. Um, in space! If you remember what happened last time is they landed on this planet, this mysterious planet, um, and they were uh, immediately shot down um, by a group of Sterans led by a centurion, Helios, and they had a interaction with Helios, where Helios um, got wrecked, got destroyed. Yeah, to use, to use uh, an expression, yes. They fucked that boy up, and they <laughs> they tied him up, Centurion Helios, and now he's tied up and bullets looking after him. Um, and they now realize that they to get off this planet, they need to find someone who can build them a, a spaceship because theirs is fucked. Um, and they're en route now to the nearest city, uh, to find someone to build them a spaceship that's their current objective is to find but they know also that it's illegal to build spaceships so they're gonna have to go about this in a kind of more um we're already subtle pirates way. i mean <laughs> they yeah. have to go about oh, this it, in, a, in a, a kind it, of subtle way they can't breaking the law I'm, and Cyr Cyril has been knighted into the devil's luck pirate yes. crew as well Cyril's i don't know what his job's gonna be yet but cabin boy know. he's like he's yeah. like washer boy <laughs> apprentice apprentice pirate is the professional term Cyril, Cyril is literally made of water he's the guy that cleans the ship <laughs> <laughs> oh god good point water boy um duro's also <laughs> got a new shield um yeah. Oh, yeah. which it increases his armor class also has it's some friendly. other abilities that you guys will see later on, but the key thing is it's um, a cursed object that is uh, corrupting and evil. <laughs> and uh, we'll only, see how Duros, that goes. only Duros can hear it. Uh, oh. oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You have a friend now. Oh, um, but it's quite cool because Duros friend? does have a blessed sword and a cursed shield. So, that, is pretty, that is pretty badass. He that could be your badass. angle or your devil. Um, yeah. So it was a blessed sword. I didn't know that. That's what it's called. It's, it's it heals you. It when heals you. Stab you. things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it was Jasper's blessed sword. Um. Well, remember Jasper. So, so now between between the shield and Zah Wolfo, you're just talking to yourself all the time. <laughs> so that's like... <laughs> I'm just gonna start talking to the sword. You want to be my friend? Yeah, Duras is a. Schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, at least people I talk can... to a brick for a living. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. At least, at least people yeah. can hear what Verona's oh. uh, objects are saying. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. Go. I just make yeah. more of me. You just <laughs> very specific parts that so are. Wait, what happens fun. if Verona animates my shield? What happens then? Oh shit! <laughs> Maybe we should find. That. <laughs> we need to test yeah. that later. Um, it would probably have two voices. Like the second one would just be like a crazy shield. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Verona, <laughs> Verona can only animate inanimate objects, and the the shield is an animate object. Okay, I guess. Oh, we know, so we uh, don't have to try. Okay. Um. Anyway, let's let's glock and roll. So you guys are walking, very cool, like Arlog Park, like 
in a in a line of like eight of you. <laughs> really I'm inconsiderate. I'm twirling, I'm twirling my sword as I'm walking. It's very yeah. inconsiderate to people trying to get by you on the road. <laughs> your your big old line of people. Um and after a, like I I'd say a, a couple hours of travel, you can kind of already see the city in the in the distance. You slowly start to approach the city. The first city that you guys approach on this island. This is there island, anything in, is there anything of note with like the alien landscape, like the sky, you know, anything well, weird that so you, catches our eye? In in terms of like the landscape, you know that the um the planet is mostly red and white. Right, um, okay. Like a candy cane, yeah. Like a candy cane, like yeah, a candy yeah, yeah. cane planet. Um and there are like barren trees, there's not a lot of leaves. Um the the sky actually doesn't look too different in color to Earth. It has an atmosphere similar to Earth. Um, okay. uh, I mean, that's that's what I say about that. Sky doesn't look too different. It doesn't look too weird. All right. All right. Um, but as you guys walk into the town, um, well, what I'll say about the the planet that is interesting is it's got quite. It's very mountainous. It's got a, quite a lot of high mountains, and a lot of them are made out of like white stone, high mountains, sort of around um stuff so you can't like see quite far into the distance because there's a lot of mountains around okay. um and but you do notice a lot of the mountains have pathways through the mountains and such like that they seem to have developed around these mountains but Ooh. this city is built within um there's a couple mountains surrounding but the city itself is flat um it's a, a city of like white stone and um kind of marble columns like roman greco architecture um, but kind of with a modern twist, a more, I'd say modern in, in like a Renaissance Victorian sense modern. So okay. like imagine a bunch of Victorian people were trying to recreate uh, Roman Greek architecture. That's the kind of vibe of the city. Um, there's, there are like ups and downs, different levels, because it is kind of slightly uh, hilly. Um, and there's a variety of different buildings and houses and stuff some that look more worn down than others um you do notice that in the city itself there are um you can already see as you're approaching the entrance uh various different statues um there is this large statue which you can only kind of see the head of at the moment which you imagine is in the center of the city of this man with like a lion silver lion mask and huge like armor around and he, you can only really see the head. He's got like a big helmet and this like silver lion mask, big statue. Okay. But you also see a smaller statue of this man kind of dressed like a, in a fancy Victorian uh, like jacket and outfit with a, a raven mask and with kind of like a pompous looking wig out the back, a statue of a, a smaller statue, a silver statue of that. And that's nearer the, the entrance of the city. Okay, um, so we see the lion guy at a distance. Yeah, at the he's distance, like super, he's got a, he's like a he's huge a, statue. He's a big statue. This other guy okay. is kind of a smaller statue. Um, I, if I was going to say, if, if there's a god that's apparently a slave owner that rules this planet, I'm going to assume it, you'd probably build a giant statue of yourself. So, I mean, <laughs> that might be who we need to kill. Yeah, maybe it's life-size and he's a giant. Mm. <laughs> well, we've, we've defeated plenty of giants before. It's fine. You know? <laughs> no! I mean, we, Ragnar's technically a giant. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. It Ragnar, was Captain... you should be able to chop it. Maybe he'll be made out of wood. You'll be able to chop yeah. him down henceforth. Captain be... Captain Mara was the one who killed the giant. You guys didn't do anything. We killed the Timberlord. Timber he was a giant. He I was guess... a bigger giant. I guess there so. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I forgot about the Timberlord being big. <laughs> What's yeah. a giant when we've killed mechs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. And, and technically, the mechs were huge, so that um, works as well. I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I do want to say the the bird mask, the raven mask. It's not like a plague doctor mask. I, I have to hammer say, this in. Was... It is not like a crow plague doctor mask. It's not like a long thing. It's is, a is shorter. Is it like a masquerade? Like an actual? Is there feathers? Like an actual like crow? I would or raven say. Mask? I would say you're yeah, kind of, but not really. If, if there are feathers, I mean, they're silver feathers. Right. They're made uh, out of like metal. Metal. But, like, and it, it okay. covers the whole face. It's not just like your right. eyes. It covers okay. the whole face. But All it's right. not like a Plague Doctor mask, I have to tell you guys. Please don't imagine a Plague Doctor mask. That's I'm, the first thing I would I, do. I'm so, trying yeah, my hardest to make sure this guy has a bird mask, but it's not a Plague Doctor mask. It has been overused. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Big right. Bozo um, was also a giant. Yeah. And you guys killed Big uh, Bozo. There's Racket checking the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> um, there, 
you there are various like marketplaces and stuff and stores uh, lining the streets of this city and you do notice that there are occasionally like people dressed similarly to Helios um kind of like patrolling the streets like uh, guards and stuff in terms of outfit do we stand out like yes. a sore thumb i was about or... to say okay. um, the yeah. general populace uh, a lot of them are wearing like robes like purple or red robes some of them are wearing like trousers and stuff with shorter robes some of them are tucked in it's kind of like um if if someone were to try and emulate the style of like roman robes but still want to wear pants underwear pants okay <laughs> so the people that it look like helios based on how they're dressed do yeah. they also have like tridents or do they have something else uh no most of them or just have swords fancy. they don't have tridents okay. helios kind of just was curious. unique with his trident he was kind of an edge lord <laughs> you know <laughs> um all right so boys but, what's the plan hold up well in the distance i will say i'm sorry no, um, go ahead. There is a huge octagon shaped building with purple banners draped down the sides of it and with like a spire protruding from its roof. And further in the background, you can kind of see like a coliseum, like an, uh, like a, anyway, I there like you that. go. That's a description of the town. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, Ragnar, continue. All right, boys, what's the plan? Well, I know we're, we're all walking in a line. It's really weird. <laughs> we're all we pretty going? cool here. Does anybody is anybody impressed by us walking in a line in a town? <laughs> no, nobody fucking cares. Ten and two, line. <laughs> all right. Well, we need to find this guy. We have no idea who he is. Um, I mean, we could just start asking people, but we kind of stand out. Maybe we should try to get some outfits that make us like seep in a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the smart thing to do would then be ask around, find out where this guy's lives, and then go and kill him, I guess. Um, Pearl goes, hold up, I thought we were trying to find um, a, a space, like someone who could build a, a, a ship Right, for us. no, we are, but yeah, they we said it was illegal. And I mean, so the quickest... kill the leader and change the law, <laughs> yeah. that's the best way to do it. <laughs> that's true. That's that's what I want, in my line of reasoning, <laughs> but I, you I, I have a different yeah, perspective. Yeah. That, that seems like really big picture stuff. I imagine we should... <laughs> We should first well, we, try and find like someone who can build us a ship. You, um, we should we're first, first Ragnar. Let's this not one, get too ahead. Let's, let's right. be more reasonable here. We don't have to kill the some god or something. Okay. We could just get we right. pirates. Well, I, I agree with Thurus. Okay. God of the world. All right. No. 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 I, guys, I, Gra gravy, apologize. Gravy. I had a different line of reasoning here, but you know, if Gravy puts his hand on William's shoulder and goes, "Yes, Captain William, I know yes. you like." Uh, to partake in murder every now and then, but we might be able to find a way around this without needing to kill a man. I mean, okay, I doubt that, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, okay, right. What do you guys? I, want? I'm a, I'm a captain of the people. <laughs> like, if we well, let's do this the smart way. I'm just saying, like, if we do have to murder a god at some point, don't be surprised. Is all I'm saying. All right, let's just be prepared for everything. I think it's yeah. inevitable, but let, let's, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Start yeah. off with, uh, with the smart around here that's linked with uh, space travel. Can you see anything? <laughs> uh, what are you asking, Taurus? Is there any place that would be linked with space travel around here? Well, perhaps? you know that. Space travel is illegal, so it's not going to be. They're not going to be advertising it on the streets. Yeah, you're going to have to do a bit more investigation. So, so black All market right. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So we need to get some disguises. Yes. And we need to find the roughest looking tavern in this place. That sounds yeah. like Where a good plan. That sounds is. like a plan. Sounds All good. Always. Aliens even drink. Fist bump, Verona. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're looking for a tailor. Okay. <laughs> okay. There. Close over my armor. You guys are <laughs> perfectly stealthy. No, no, actually, I'm you, you, would look, you, would, you would look badass with like a purple robe over your armor. That would look pretty cool. You know, people do give you some weird looks, but you're not immediately like nobody's uh, immediately suspicious of you. Do they just think you look kind of weird? Um, are you going to try to find a tailor? I walk up. Okay. Can I just walk up and ask somebody? Some random guy? Sure. I'm just gonna walk up to some random guy and okay. I'll be like, "Hey, excuse me. Um, uh, you know, me uh, and my me. Oh, I, I know. I look a little weird. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, hello. Uh, I um, I, I'm not supposed to stop, talk to scavengers. Um, 
I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not a scavenger. I'm sorry. Um, no, what happened was me and my friends were at a costume party earlier and we just, I'm not going to bore you with the whole story. We lost our clothes. Can you tell us where I could go get, we could get some clothing. Do you want to do a deception roll? That's a, that's yeah, a, that's a that. really, that's a really good one. But do you want to do a deception roll for me? Here we go. My friend. 17's Ooh. really good. Okay. Okay. There so, we go. Um, he goes, oh, of course. I apologize. I apologize. Oh yes. Um, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we have, we have plenty of costume parties up in here. I've been to a fair few myself. I've never dressed oh, like know, uh, right? like you, but uh, yeah, I'm dressed as a an alien pirate. It was a weird group theme we all had. It was just uh, yeah, just we, yeah. Do you, long you, story, long night, a lot of booze. Let's just yeah. You believe in aliens? <laughs> I, I know that's why it was. Just, I had a stupid. I thought it was going to be a good idea, and it just it didn't work out. We we came in last place at the costume contest. Um, ah. just, I just want to get out of these as quickly as possible, okay? You're still alive? Yes. Ah, must have been one of those, like... Yeah, it was not, boring. Not like an... an not oh, one it of, was dull as hell. It yeah. wasn't, it wasn't like an important party or anything. No, no, never going back, by the way. Oh, yeah. of course, of course. Yes, you, you guys should try out some of the more important parties where they have uh, competitions like that, but if you come in last place, they uh, they feed you to the wolves. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, this guy was pretty dull, okay? He just, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, but right. we'll try this again at some point, and maybe I'll get a chance to win next time. I don't know. Anyway, uh, where is the nearest... Uh... Taylor? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. If you just, if you walk up the street... Um, right into the right, you'll see um, you'll see a big thing that has like scissors on it. It's not a barber shop; it's a tailor's. Okay. Uh, you, sh it's just up there. Okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. I shake his hand. <laughs> he, uh, well, you put your hand out to shake it, right? And he he looks at your hand and goes, "What are you doing?" Okay. The second I notice that that's weird, I do that thing where it's like, "Oh, yeah." Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just that's how I, uh, you know, I take off my hat and I go. Oh yes, my. All right. So yeah, you have a good night, and I just walk away. Um, as you leave, uh, he he goes. Um, for Dominius. For Dominius, sir. For Dominius. I do the exact same thing he does. Yeah. All right. So I walk back over to everybody. I'm like, all right. So I found out a few things. Number one, there are these things called scavengers, which people don't like to talk to. Uh, the name of the god is probably Dominius, and people don't handshake here, so that's a thing. Don't don't go that route with it, okay? Also, did the tailor's in that direction. Did you find that out? <laughs> what now? Our hug's acceptable, Captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I actually haven't tried. If you want to give it a shot, well, we have to just test everything and see where it goes. <laughs> All right. Very well. I will hug the next one. Okay. So <laughs> if if we look like scavengers, do we even need to get changed? Well, apparently scavengers, the way he responded to that was like, they're kind of maybe the lower rungs of society. Mm. I don't even, scavengers might even be slaves here. I'm not really sure that might be a similar kind of cast. Um, I think it would be better, though, if we were dressed like in actual outfits. So that okay, way we can actually okay. talk to people like normal. Because One yeah. other problem. We do not have yes. space money. <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't really but you want to know what we anything. do have, Ragnar? We could maybe. But the, the, bar the bartering system <laughs> might work here. And if the bartering system doesn't work, may like I said, we might have to kill someone soon. I'm just well, we could oh. dock them unconscious. We are pirates. All right, we that's don't have true to too. Kill that's everybody, true too. Captain. <laughs> non <-lethal laughs> Unless they're old. If it's like thirty or under, it's like <laughs> okay. I love that's William's wait, first wait, go to is now. Thirty <laughs> over, over old. I mean forty. forty <laughs> 50. Uh, my my cutoff was uh, I'm old, was I'm like. Old. I was thinking William's cutoff date was 55 or older, yeah, 55, but, right, you know, right. that was just, you know. Many. They gotta go. <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds good. So you guys... All right, okay. So let's, I guess if no one objects, we, we can head over to the uh, the tailor shop. All right. <laughs> all right. So you guys make your way up the road. Some people are still giving you some weird looks, uh, but, you know, they're not being confrontational about it. For Dominius! For Dominius! Oh, and, and you, you do that, and some people go... For for Dominius, okay, um, that's a thing. Just keep doing that. We should be good. All right. Uh, oh, yes, okay. Yes. Aye. As you as you approach the uh, tailor shop, uh, it is actually on um, this the street that next to it is this huge pavilion, like 
town center, which has the giant statue in the center. And you okay. you now notice the giant statue, this man adorned in full armor. Uh, he's um, he's like sitting on a... Um, no, he's standing. Why would, the fuck is he sitting? He's standing. Big, boof, big lion steel mask, like kind of like feathers and um, various different adornments on his armor. He looks like a big boy. Um, impressive. Very impressive. Okay. Very impressive statue. Very big boy. Uh, uh, you see some people it, praying besides it. Is there like a plaque or something that tells us who this guy is? Or uh, anything? There is, but you, you have to get closer to it if you want to. Okay. And there are people well, we'll praying. Later. There are people All praying right. around it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but. All right. So yeah, you want to enter the uh, the. Um, Oh, by the way, I'm wearing Rusted's merch. You can buy my merch at... Just everybody stop, okay? Oh, <laughs> this is the white no, version. You get it in black. You get it in that blue. That is pretty badass. It's like a zombie version of you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to the tailor for Rusted's merch. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. Uh you, you enter into the, uh, into the tailor. Uh, as you enter the tailor, there's this white-haired man with hair... Uh, like slicked down and he, he kind of looks down on you as you enter and he goes are you sure you're meant to be in here? Uh, we are, oh we're not scavengers if that's what you think we are, no um, we just came from a really boring costume party and we just need some new outfits oh. if you could help us with that okay uh, you, have you, as you enter the store, you notice there are robes of various different hues lining the walls, um, and various different fancy, there's also nice, like, fancy kind of Victorian-esque jackets and, uh, what's it called, a ja jabo, jabos and such? Uh, I've never heard of that word. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one either. Jabo. Verona, yeah, you would look really good in, like, a... Like out of character, I would say like steampunkish kind of attire. You know, I don't know how I would phrase it's, that. It's but like it's a like Victorian era kind like, of it's stuff. It's like a frill or ruffle. Hell, yeah. Frill oh, a ruffle. ruffle. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It seems mm. like um, what you can garner is that the regular folk wear like robes, but then when you're like a step above that and you're more noble, you wear more like Victorian esque jabo jacket, that sort of thing. Um, okay. With little um, flourishes. Well, of the only thing that's going to fit me is the robe, so I guess <laughs> I'll go with the robe. Ah, uh, you, all eight of you, are looking for robes? Yes. I. Ah, uh, well, that will be um, a pretty penny. I assume you lot have money. Uh, of course we have money. I, I act kind of insulted. I'm like, I was like, of course we have money. Why would we come in here and ask for robes without money? We would just demand that we try them on first. I mean, I'm not going to even bother unless I can first, you know, give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> he scoffs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> show me them. Show me that you are a man of wealth first, and then like, I don't want these robes being worn by some peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Rusted. Is there other people in this room? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This guy, this guy doesn't actually run a very successful business because of his attitude. There's nobody else in this shop. Yeah. Can I roll to knock out? <laughs> Dude, yeah, roll to hit gonna, him. You know what? I had no idea where I was going to go with this. Just roll to hit him. Like deception and wish for the best. So if you want to go ahead, I'm not going to hold him. Back. <laughs> Get wrecked. You hit Boom. him. Uh, you knock him unconscious? Yes. You don't need to do the damage. The guy's got like one hit point. You knock him unconscious. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, oh, boys. <laughs> take some you you just god, you just Ragnar. run up and smack him <laughs> with the no idea where that was gonna go. All right, Thanks, let's grab shit. All right, what colors Why do we like? Gotta increase the pacing purple. of one piece D and D, boys. All right, what co what uh, what uh, what colors are the most prominent here? Mostly purples and purple. reds. Purple and red. Can I, okay, I'll take like a. Re are they all robes or are they just like? Yeah, rogues, togas, that sort of thing. All right, I would like I'll to take thing for the highest noble in this room. Oh, what shit. looks the most prestigious? Oh, it's gonna be Ragnar. Is gonna be the most pristine out of all of us. That's gonna be great. <laughs> right. So I Ragnar, mean, you want to go for the um for like the like Victorian jacket with the jabot? Jabot is a real <laughs> thing. I know you guys don't know what a jabot is, yes! but it's it's a real thing. Hold on, let me Google this really. J a b o t. 
J B A J J A B O T. It's a real thing. I looked it up especially. Oh, it's what a oh. Ragnar. You gotta try one of those. Man. <laughs> it's the frills. It's like the frills. Yeah. <laughs> Duros is just gonna take a a golden uh, a golden a robe. A golden robe. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah. yeah. Verona's taking purple robes. Just putting it right over the top. Uh, is yeah. is there anything like gold and like a like a red and gold trim like robe? I'll take William. That. You can yes. try this Jabot thing. It's so cool. <laughs> I think I think William would look pretty pretty cool in a Jabot. I'll try the Jabot. All right, I'll Jabot do a Jabot. Jabot bros, let's go. But yeah, Jabot, Jabot bros. bros. Bump yeah. it. Also, can we take all the money in the register? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. We it's need not a me. We're pirates. You, you open the drawers. Have a register? Well, there's like the, drawers. The alien of equivalent of a of a of a cash register. There's, there's a locked drawer. I'm a thief. Also, do you want, so, do you want okay. to use your thieves' tools? Lock pick, you want yes. a lockpick? You haven't lockpicked lock since like too. episode two. I haven't lockpicked it forever. I'm a rogue, for God's sakes. That's what I do. All right, lockpick. Let's do it. Thieves' tools. You 16. successfully like lockpick. You open it up, and inside are a bunch yeah. of like uh, silver coins with a lion's face on it, and it has like a lot of them say like one domin, two domin, three mm. domin. They're domains. They're based off Dominus. Do domains. domains. All right, we got do How many domains do we have? You have a in inside is about five hundred domains. All right, we got five hundred domains, everybody. I have oh. no idea if that means a lot or enough. This guy might have had a really crappy business for all we know. <laughs> Wait, this could be like, like... The this could be the secondhand thrift store of this world. We have no reference. Does any of I these feel have a like bit a bad price for tag? doing this? But has it what now? Desperate measures. Like anyway. a price tag. Do any of these have a price tag on them? So they don't actually like have. Price oh yeah. Tag. No, no. Yeah. The actual robes don't have price tags on them. He was the type of man to like. He would mm. change the price depending on who the customer was. Okay, I was just curious so we could get an idea. He's kind of one of those um, deceptive, shitty people. human beings. Shitty human beings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if he could tell that you could fork over good money and you were gullible. Does he, does he have? If I root through his desk, does he have like a ledger or something? I imagine if he's a tailor. People are probably going to come to him for clothing, and if there's anybody really prominent in the in the city, maybe he might have like, you know, this guy spends a lot of money. This is like a rich guy in the city or something. That's a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're looking through his ledger, and there's quite a lot of. Um... We're just ransacking this guy's <laughs> door. Somebody lock the door so nobody hey, wanders go in watch here. The door, please. <laughs> yeah. um, Cyril, lock the door. Thank you. Okay. You, you pick up. You pick up what you oh. think is a ledger, and you start flicking through and reading it, and you notice okay. that it has a few entries. One of which is business is slow again. We, I had a few, few uh, common folk come into my store, but they didn't have enough money for my precious wares, so I shooed them off. Um, and mm. then another ledger was like, I just wish Inquisitor Cornelius would visit my store just one time. I have the thing that would be perfect for him. Another, and you keep, it, you, you flick over, please. This guy has a sad life. <laughs> please, Inquisitor Cornelius, please just come into my store. I I swear, I've built, I I have clothes especially tailored for you. It'd be oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a little stick figure of him and Cornelius yes. and him making and, clothing for him. Uh, so one nice. of the most oh, recent cool. entry says, uh, there's a, there's a ball coming up. I really hope one of the noblemen come to my store for some, some clothes. What'd you say? A war coming up? A ball. A ball. A ball coming up. I'm like, okay, all right. Like a like a fancy party. There's a fancy does, party. Does it, right. Does all it right. say when the ball is? Doesn't say yeah, anything. Doesn't say... No, no specifics. Okay. Um, the right. devil like pirate should show up to this ball, <laughs> dressed up in our thing. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I love this concept. I love where we're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're all dressed to the nines now. Uh, me and Ragnar are, are Jabbo uh, bros, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, Duros, what did you get? I got a gold robe. Yeah. Passed it over my armor. Um, and I have a red Jabbo, and then, yeah. Uh, Pearl has, like, a pink robe. That's nice. Uh, uh, Gravy has a robe as well. And Louis Leclerc has a Jabbo and the jacket, like Ragnar does. I think that would work for him. Yeah. I just have the Jabot yeah. without a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? That works for you. Yeah. That works for you, though. I Jabot don't, I with no don't. shirt. I want to blend in, but that's hilarious. Like Magic Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Spooky, you got the Jabo too, didn't you? What did you get? No, you, you, just got the the you just got the purple robe. You just got the purple robe. robe. All right, that works you. You guys are you. successfully okay. like in outfits. Do you guys just want to leave? This guy's unconscious. All right, we got yes, we got probably. style, and we got uh, these uh, 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 domens. We got domens, right? That's what they're called. D 
Oh yeah, domains, Do- domains. That's the domains, the money. Domains. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got some threads and we got some money. Oh. Uh, we have kind of some connections, so you know. Cyril is also wearing a jabo. He's he's part of the jabo squad. Oh, that's good for him. Yeah. Jabo boys. Nice. Jabo Cyril, boys. Cool. Um, little darling in that. It's spelled J A B O T, but it's a French word, so it's jabo. Mm. Um, or ja- right. Let's take a listen to what. Jabo. 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 That's the title of this episode. Jabo. 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 Ragnar, I really love your Jabo today. Yeah, this fluffy thing's really cool. This Jabo looks so nice on me. No moi, Jabo. This man that we have knocked unconscious, should we tie him up so he doesn't talk to the guards when he wakes up? Yeah, I say we just tie him up and then shut the door, lock it behind us, and just carry Easy. on our way. Maybe he will yeah, stop. Yeah. Uh, gravy goes. Uh, yeah. I I will. Um, can I just leave him some food so he doesn't? Yes, starve of course. Death? We're not yeah, monsters. Yes, yes, you yeah, know? yes, please, gravy. Thank, gravy thank gets you. out like a couple sandwiches and leaves them by oh, his unconscious nice. face, and then they tie that's him up. Okay. So he's tied up there with sandwiches next to him. He can reach them. Yeah, he could reach them. All, All right. right. So I guess we just we just walk out and just flip the yeah. sign to close and just, <laughs> just shut, all, just shut all the curtains. Yeah, I doubt anyone from his ledge is going to visit anytime soon. Anyway. I take I take the ledger with me, by the way, just <laughs> the, in like case, the diary. Yeah, okay, you know, just to have it. Yeah. All right, now you guys are going to try and find where you could find someone who has a spaceship. spaceship. All right. Hmm. So I guess to the local tavern. To the yeah. I, shady yeah. tavern. Okay. Shady tavern. Shady tavern. Do you want to walk around a bit? Do you, does someone want to do like I'd say a perception to walk around the town a little bit to find the shadiest looking tavern you can find? Uh, yeah, Verona, Verona, go ahead. Verona, yeah, you're you. you're the like scout anyway. You're like the yeah, lookout. you're good at that. You're you're good oh. with stuff. You're good with your eyes. Not you good enough. <laughs> Twelve's all right. Twelve is okay. It's not it's just, find a It'll be just, kind of shady. The right? thing is, it just takes you longer. Is what I mean. Yeah, oh, oh, you, I mean, you eventually find it. Eventually, it's just depending on your perception is how long it's gonna fucking take you. Right. Um, Does anybody? Everybody looks at us fine now, though. We we kind of blend in. Uh, I do also realize that uh, Louis Leclerc already wore a jabot. A jabot? No, no. <laughs> I now forgot he's got two. <laughs> now he's got two. Louis Leclerc. <laughs> he's super fancy. Wait, he does. Yeah, he literally already wears a jabot. <laughs> so yeah, he fit in perfectly. <laughs> Dude, he must have looked like major upper class yes, in this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he was the only one that fit in, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we went and got Jabos to go go into a shady place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. That might just be a normal thing to do here. Yeah. It might just be normal. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. You find a really shady looking tavern eventually after looking around um, the city a little bit. People aren't giving you weird looks anymore. You find this uh, shady looking tavern. It's. Um, it's got like a broken sword in the outside, and the tavern's called the Broken Sword. <laughs> makes sense. Before we go oh, in, guys, I have what no a idea what. Name. Ah, it makes sense. I don't know what the exchange rate for these things are, but I give uh, each of the four party members a hundred berries. So a hundred, not hundred berries, hundred domens. Domen. Domen. So yeah, a hundred. I don't know how much that will get you. So they all have one hundred. I guess that would make me. I have two hundred then. Um, but you know, if you need more, just come to me and I'll like give you some more. <laughs> wow, uh, having pro- having pockets is so practical. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You should try them out more cool. often. Yeah. yeah, you can carry your money when we get back to mm-hmm. wherever okay. we. You think can. I'm gonna wear, right. wear this lame uh, outfit when we go back? <laughs> this <Yeah>. jabo. <laughs> now, before we go in, does anyone have any idea what we're gonna say? Because we're asking for stuff that's like highly illegal. So. Yeah, All right, we could just go in and ask. I'm sure they'll be <laughs> friendly. All right, maybe, maybe it is a pretty shady like... place. You know? um, I think it all started with like glass of ale, space ale. If any just of you, it. if if any of you, I'm going to say this now. If any of you want to ask an NPC's opinion about something, you are you are free to do so. Uh, just so that I'm not constantly jutting in with what an NPC thinks, unless it's super important. But if you mm-hmm. generally want to know what Cyril or Louis or Gravy or Pearl think, you just ask them. Okay. Like, okay. they won't answer the general questions for the party, because that's for you guys. But if you want to know what they think specifically, you just ask them. Okay. okay. I see. Okay. Cool. Well, maybe we should go up to some of the shady and or smart looking people and just ask them what services they provide. 
I, I say, uh, I say, Ragnar, you open the doors first. I want to get the, like a good first impression here that like, you know, we're pretty badass, you know, <laughs> and you are like, you know, pretty badass. So what are you talking right, about, go. William? You're pretty badass, too. Yeah, but Ragnar is a bear and he has the jabot and he just it works, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we, right. we walk in. OK, you. Hello. <laughs> You walk in. I am Ragnar the Third. Ragnar the Third. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you fling open the doors, um, yeah, inside a shady looking tavern, it's dimly lit. There's a, a bartender uh, who is a bald man, and he has bandages all over his face. Hmm. Um, and then you've got three, two people sitting together. It looks like they're playing a card game. Um, they both got like they both got robes, but they go over their heads as well, so you can't really see their faces. And then you have one man sitting alone, um, uh, smoking a pipe. He's. <laughs> this is like a flashback to the first episode, a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and there's little Timmy and biggest Timmy, and <laughs> <laughs> they were aliens this whole Don't time. <laughs> okay, are we gonna kill another Timmy? <laughs> Alien Timmy? I didn't kill him. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's Duras technically killed him just by yeah. uh, uh, gross incompetence. <laughs> Wait, what? I let's let's him. let's let's put little Timmy right in front of the big fire golem. No, that wasn't me. That was Verona. Oh Verona. no, Verona. That sorry, was me. sorry. I was thinking about Cyril. Oh, it was Verona. Verona was like, let's put little Timmy right in front of the big fire golem. <laughs> Listen, guys. He's the only guy in our gun. party that has that really good healing ability. Let's make sure he dies before he can use it. <laughs> I named oh, my yeah. gun after little Timmy, and it turns out he's alive. I had to fix that. <laughs> and now it's named <laughs> in his story. honor once more. Sorry. Oh, no. I'm so exactly. sorry, Duros. I did not mean to blame you for that oh, um, oh could you, oh, could you? <laughs> um, <laughs> well speaking of duros way... though as you guys enter the tavern duros you hear this voice set it on fire what the tavern oh, on fire. set it on you? fire these guys are scum they don't deserve to live i thought you had a sense of justice duros well i, well, I don't even know who they are yet Let's they're criminals on. And they deserve death, would you not agree? Well, technically, I'm a criminal too. Would that mean I... But you're a good guy. Your intentions are good. Their intentions are not so good. Like well, your captain. He deserves death, doesn't he? Your captain. Why do you follow a man like that? And the... I mean, look at him. He's a nice man over here. And yeah, Ragnar. Sure he knocked a man unconscious. Day, but mostly by accident. They deserve death, wouldn't you agree? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, well, we need to find out. No one deserves death. Everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> okay. Duras, you cool? <laughs> oh, no, just I'm just talking to, to my, my shield friend over here. Don't worry okay. about me. All right. I mean, you know. You want to talk to him? Well, go ahead. Say hello there. Hi, shield. You hear nothing. Oh, why are you being I, so I, quiet I, right now? Kill him. Kill him now. Oh. Well, the, now he's he's very, very talkative, Captain. He's not really. I, uh, I don't think you're going to like what he's saying. Just ignore the shield for the time being. Yeah, oh. Duros. Um. Yeah, this is the second time now you've told me about that thing's desire to make you kill me. So, I'm starting to get a little concerned. Well, he'll, he'll come <laughs> around. Sure it'll be all right. If yeah, it happens, if around. it happens more times, just let me know, okay? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll try. If there's any all way right. you can make yourself a little bit louder, Duros. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Um. Do, do, is this better? Yeah, way better. Thank you, thank Ooh, you, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. A oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. How about a round of space ale? Does that exist? <laughs> you gotta walk up to the bartender. What type of drinks you got here? Uh, My name is Ragnar the Third. Ragnar the Third. I ain't heard of ya, but we got pretty good ale here. What brings you to the broken sword? Pretty good ale. I'm super excited. Give, give me a round. Give a round. All right. Uh, for the eight sales. To head over to the card table because that's like my thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. You can't really understand him. <laughs> right now. Yeah. For the eight years. Oh, yeah. For you. How, how, <laughs> how, 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 for me, yes. How many domains? Just for you. Over the whole. Yeah, yeah just for me. Just for okay. me. <laughs> for now. Uh, would you like a glass of space ale? You know what? I would love a ground of space ale. Oh. Yeah. Uh. A glass of ale is off the moment. 
<laughs> oh yes, I understood. It's like every exactly. word is only half of the word. I love um, that. You and, uh, how much is that exactly? <laughs> he gets more incomprehensible. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna give him three domans. Three, no, you give him three domans, and he gives you six pints of ale. <sighs> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. That works. Okay. That works. Uh, yeah. All right, perfect. I'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. It's delicious. I'll take two so, as well. <laughs> so, barkeep, if a man were to look for a looking for a, can I just ask him? Screw it. If a man I were mean, to be looking for a, some underground spaceship, I hear this is the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I don't think this is the right person to ask. <laughs> this is not the right person to ask for information right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you I mean, uh, actually willingly you tell you, and you probably won't understand. I mean, uh, what did I find you you went to do? But I was just joking. You uh, mean, uh, <laughs> he put he he uh he raises an eyebrow and puts out a hand. Ooh. <laughs> no, like this. He puts out a hand like this. Like, uh, oh, palm wants, upwards, okay. not shaking hands, palm upwards. I mean, I threw 15 more domains in his hand. There's he more can, where that came from. He gives you a look, like, that's all? That's the look. And then I, like, shake my bag. Then he nods his head. Yeah, I think he wants to. <laughs> all right, take it. <laughs> Takes all 100 domains. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> oh, that's so fucking great. <laughs> he stashes it in his pocket. He and then he like points his finger and he's like, "Come over, sir." I knew this was gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> you, right, wanna, right. you wanna? You wanna? Yeah. Um, so you be there, right <laughs> underneath the city. There's a fucking uh, the sewers. And it was a bit bad, he plays, I don't know so much about the spaceships and stuff, but uh, I know that if you're looking for some sort of illegal goods, that's the place it gotta be. That's where I get some of my items and stuff. Mm, I knew you were the man to ask. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Pleasure doing fucking business with you. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Doros raises a glass of yes. <laughs> I like lean over to William. What did that guy even say? I have no idea, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about to walk else? over to the card table, but if that worked, I mean that worked. I mean, I mean he gave him a hundred domains. All right, I give I give Ragnar the other hundred, so now we all have we all have a hundred. There you go. Boy, this, is why, this is why I give my money to Verona. I throw it at people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ragnar, what did you work? You did great. You did fine. Yeah. It's a currency. When um, we get back to Earth, we can't spend this shit. So we might as well. There you go. You know. The one space eel ale is fantastic. This is unbelievable. I, I want to know how this is made, but I don't want to ask him because I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Two. We must go to the sewers. All right. Uh, so That's we're going in sewers. Oh boy. I think favorite. he said sewers. Okay. <laughs> I think so. All right. What if you said like stewards? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, <laughs> you've got to ask the stewards. <laughs> no, I he, mean, he yeah. definitely said sewers. You could understand that much. Skewers? Skewers <laughs> at the barbecue? That's where you got to go. They're making, they're making tons of spaceships <laughs> over at the barbecue. Yeah. Or you make a one out of uh, like prime rib or something. There you go. <laughs> See, boys, back in my day, if you ever need information, you always ask the bartender. They always know. Uh, Rag They're usually uh, pretty Pearl, in interesting individuals. Pearl though. goes, Ragnar, did. Did you used to be a bartender? Um, my family used to own a bar, actually. Oh, what was the bar called? It was called... This can go in the trivia section of the Wikipedia page. I never heard this <laughs> story. Oh, yeah. I, I knew, Ragnar, you used to be a lumberjack. You played hockey for a while. I never knew that you uh, you ran a bartender. You were a bartender. Actually, my grandpappy ran a bar. Actually, that's, a, that's how I lost my eye. It was a crazy bar fight of... of uh... 1931. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing dates now. What, yeah, what, is, is, what exactly is the year? 1931. <laughs> William, the no, William, what year is it? You know, it's about. What? It's roughly 20 years after Goldie Roger oh, was executed. No, no, no Oda doesn't give dates. Oh, uh, never mind. Like, we don't know. It's literally in One Piece. It's like 
we base things off of like three years ago, four years ago, yeah, five enough. years so ago. So I meant it was roughly um, 20 years before Luffy sets there, forth is what I There's meant. some date sources from books that mention like the 1500s, but that's like, it, it's rarely ever come up. So mm. it, they don't, you do dates usually. Yeah. Anyway, it was about 26 years ago and uh, right, the, bar, right. the bar was called the Great Barb. The Great Barb. The Great Barb. All the right, Great cool. Barb. Barb. Like, the, like the Great Barbarian, okay. Yeah. Oh, I get it. All right. Yeah. Oh, uh, before before we leave this bar, though, I am curious of what some alien food is like. So, I'm gonna ask the bartender for some some bar food if he has any of that. <laughs> you, want, you want some bar food? I want some bar food. I, I'm gonna try to mimic his way of speech. I want bar food. Yeah. <laughs> you mocking me? No, no, no. I am not, <laughs> sir. I am not. I apologize. <laughs> I would just love some tasty food. Uh, right. Well, the gr the greasier the better. There you go. We got meat. I like okay. meat. Oh, Ragnar likes that. All he right. slams some meat onto the table. You want meat? <laughs> Not on a plate or anything, just on yeah. the table. <laughs> There's a big slab on. He meat. then sick. He he jams a stick into it and then holds it up and get and <laughs> holds it in front of you. You want meat? You want his meat? All right, I'll take the meat. I give him uh five domens because I pretend domens. like that's. Wow. <laughs> he takes the five nobans, puts it in his pocket. Wow. You're not generous, folks. You know that, right? You always can got I... a friend in me. Yeah, yeah, you too, man. Yeah, we're we're buds. Okay. Uh can yeah. I do like a check to make sure this stuff isn't like gonna kill me or something? <laughs> the uh... beer's fine, I trust this guy. Alright. I take a bite of it, screw it. Oh, it tastes it tastes pretty good. Kind of oh. chewy. It's not like prepared sure. super well. You you can't tell what meat. It doesn't taste like any meat you've had before. Right, Ragnar, have a bite of this. Tastes all right. Yeah. Mm. This would go really <laughs> well like, with space. I like ale. to imagine. I, think I got another glass. <laughs> I like to imagine mm. Williams like Ragnar have a bite of this, and then Ragnar puts the entire thing in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he just eats it with the bone. <laughs> or with the... <laughs> okay, give us another meat stick. Here's another five domens. <laughs> well, I mean, I've had plenty of meat. If you're gonna give, give me those domens, he gives you another meat stick. All right, let's let's just share the meat stick. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Together, I gotta make sure. All right, I'm down to I'm down to ninety of these things. I gotta start keeping track. Yeah. Together, we let's share not, the meat stick. Let's not blow our own yet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, nice doing business with you. Oi, you know, welcome in any time. I'm proud of customers, you know that. I haven't seen you bugs around here before. What's your name, sir? What, my name? Yeah. Garbin. Blarbin. Garbin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sarbin? All right. Gee, I, 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 <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Rock on. Garbin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, let's, just, let's just go to the show. Just... <laughs> I'm like, let's just get out I'm of like, here. God, uh, we should come back here before we, we leave. This was a fun place. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh now, God. looking for a sewer entrance, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Say goodbye to Garbin. We should be able to find What's up, Ragnar? <laughs> find us a sewer, please. As we're eating the meat stick. Oh God. <laughs> can, can I look for a sewer? <laughs> like, yes. Do a perception. Like a manhole or do a perception for that ground. juicy manhole. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. Twenty-four. Your eyes are set on that manhole. Verona has. There's a manhole. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right up? no that's just adam's corpse i'm joking um, oh no because <laughs> he because he had the hole in him uh, that's really grim son of a bitch Cause he, cause i gotta go because he was impaled okay never mind well Let's it's keep been going. fun guys it's been a year <laughs> <Yeah. 'Cause... laughs> all right yeehaw <laughs> hashtag yeehaw okay <laughs> okay so... it's been a year <laughs> I'm just gonna walk <laughs> over to the manhole and uh, try okay. and pry it up. Uh, uh, you walk over hands. to the manhole. Um, it's slightly everyone's yeehawing. That's fair enough. Ordering, ordering, ordering at him. Um, the 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 manhole is slightly. Uh, you you notice that the manhole is slightly in an alleyway, so it's out of sight of regular mm -hmm. folk. And you 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 pry it open, and there is a ladder leading down. Mm. Any light down there at all? Um, not immediately. Do we have any lanterns or stuff? That's common D and D Pearl, stuff, but I don't Pearl, think it was get, gets, Pearl goes, hey, can you pass me that meat stick? Sure. 
<sighs> she sets the meat on fire. There we go. We got light. Cool. Meat sticks. Torch. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you guys have two torches of the two meat sticks that you have. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Is it literally just a big <clears throat> spike of wood that just you just stab the stuff? Yeah, through yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, whatever. I'll work with it. All right. It's like okay. a if we run into any vampires down here, we can just yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So I, I I'll go down first, I guess, with the meat torch, and then uh, Pearl, you should bring the other one on the rear, so we have like from both ends. Yes, that'd be yeah. cool. Let's do that. All, All right. right. I'll enter the manhole from the rear. Um, so you guys venture forth to down to, into the manhole. Um, <laughs> all right how disgusting is it is it knee length or ankle deep like how i, I we just got these we just stole these clothes i mean <laughs> yeah it's kind of it's going to be a little bit grimy as you go down oh, God. but um as you mm. venture down the manhole and you get deeper and deeper um down the ladder into the sewers you eventually you eventually reach the bottom and um it it's just a, a like a sewer tunnel going downwards, but at the very end, you notice uh, like a wooden door. Okay. Well. And you can hear voices quietly. All right. There's some kind of black market down here. That looks like where a black market would be. Creepy wooden door in a sewer. I mean. <laughs> hey, Duros, I think we should walk in first. Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I think kind that's of a good jolly idea. Stroll through. Okay. Duros, you should still try that hug strategy as soon as. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, I would be glad to oblige on that one. Doris just is Gravy with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rusted, is Gravy with us? Gravy is That's with right. you guys. Yeah, mm. sure I think I, I think I think it'd be polite to knock first. Knock <laughs> first. <laughs> uh, gravy Jake, knocks. Why, why his head. Go gravy to knock first? Okay. Uh, you knock, you knock first. I don't know. I was, I was curious if he was here as well. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 I want him to. I, I want him to be proud of me. <laughs> he learned some manners. Duros, like, Duros, Duros and you. People. You and Gravy and probably Cyril are the least threatening out of all of us. So, <laughs> you know, I meant that in a good way. But so, uh, oh. all uh, right. you, when you knock on the door, a little like wooden shutter opens up and you see some eyes. And by I mean, you see some eyes, you see one eye and an eye patch. And uh, this the one eye looks around and he looks at all of yours and goes. Yeah. What do you want? Well, I. We just came here to uh, inquire of some business propositions of acquiring a spaceship. You're not saying with the Inquisitor, are you? No. I don't even know who that is. Uh, what's... what? He takes a look at you. He does not recognize any of you, obviously. I do not recognize any of yours. But... Do you don't guys... Don't worry, I don't recognize you either. You guys got some domains? I, I take a little bag out of my he, pocket. I like shake the bag up, like Duros holds his bag up and shakes it. Yeah. And another smaller little wooden thing opens up and a hand comes out. <laughs> like a wooden door, you see his eyes and you see a hand. Man, I'm glad we robbed that guy. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Duros places like 20 domens in his hand, I guess. He, he like feels the domens. And then his hand comes in, the thing closes, and then the door slowly opens. Oh, okay, that worked. All right, cool. Yeah. And it's like this, I want to say cistern, but that's probably the wrong word. There's like, you guys ever played Skyrim? You know the Thieves yes. Guild in Skyrim? For one hour. In a, Okay, for anyone watching who's played Skyrim, you know how the Thieves Guild has this like giant circular thing in the middle and there's like a sewer and then there's like lots of little hovels and stuff? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, you guys get that. So it's kind of like that, exactly. Um, <laughs> you, it's um, it's like the rat way. So, yeah, you've got like this cistern in the middle with the, um, um, the water, the sewage water flowing through it. You've got various different marketplaces of people bustling around. You've got these holes in the wall with people um, in them selling their wares and such. Um, and they have various different signs on them. Uh, and you look around. People give you like looks as you as you enter, but then they just mind and do their own business. The man that you were talking to was actually standing on a stool. He now gets off. He's very tiny. Um, and by where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a very tiny he's man. He's right there, Ragnar. <laughs> oh, um, hey, nice eight patch. He looks up. Goes right. Well, welcome to my um to the black market. Have a look around, and if you need any help, just give me a call. 
Well, thank you. Um, well, do you like know it. where we should go for like spaceships? It. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> department <laughs> store. It's just like, yeah. like you know yeah. what yeah. I mean, yeah. hey, we're being yeah. straight with the guy, right? It's just like, yeah. hey, this is what we're looking for. This is a black market. Yeah. Oh, big spreaders, eh? Well, oh. uh, Lisa Mechanics is probably the m- person that you want. Uh, she's over there, and you can see a sign that says Lissa's Mechanics. Nissa? Lissa. L-Y-S-S-A. Lissa. Okay. Lissa. Okay. Mm. Lissa. Gotcha. Anyways, I, I, I bid you farewell. I, I, uh... oh, yes, thank you, sir. And what's your <laughs> name? Oh, what's you, your name if we ever need uh, uh, any assistance? Uh, my name is Vinici. Vinici. That's a fancy name. Vinici. That's going to replace Jabo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's you a... wouldn't happen to be related to a guy named V, would you? No, no. Just checking. He's dead. He's dead, Verona. We killed him. His name starts with a V. I had to check. No, no, no. That's true. Yeah. Okay. They were, just because my main name starts with a V, there's plenty of people. What's your name? He points at um, William. What's your name? V- William? It's like a V. It's like it's like a W, but it's stupid because it's uh, actually two Vs do, together instead do, of a do, W. Do you know, do you know yeah. my friend Warwick? Do you know my friend Warwick, William? Are you related to my friend Warwick? Uh, Deception. I'm gonna be like Warwick. I was just hanging out with that guy last week, dude. I, do you know de- Warwick? Roller I deception. I guess roller deception. <laughs> oh my god, he's just trying to make a Let's point. Roll with this. Why not? Oh my god, he goes. 17. Oh fuck, bad example. I guess. How do you know Warwick? <laughs> Oh, man, we, me and Warwick, man, we go back a couple months, you know, uh, we were at this costume party and we met there and, you know, we hang out every now and then we have some booze over at the Broken Sword. You know how it is. Warwick's been going to costume parties? Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's a messed up world we live in, but here we are. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's grim. I'm going to have to talk to him about that. Uh, thanks yeah, for letting was- me know. Yeah, no um, problem. I go up to Verona. What the hell is up with the fucking costume parties around here? <laughs> Maybe it's like <laughs> dirty. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he 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 goes. Well, I bet you a deal. Thank you so much. Yes, and he, thank you, Vinici. Thank you. All right. He's perfectly fine with running a black market. But <laughs> costume He's parties. Like, Wait, costume parties. Now that's where the, that's Adam's where the, the really question. messed up shit happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you want to go to Lissa's Mechanics? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of interesting stuff here, but I mean, we're looking, first and foremost, we got to figure out a way to get out of here, so. Okay, so. Yeah, let's let's head there first. Yeah. Uh, Lissa's Mechanics uh, has a big, huge sign over the top of it, and it's, it's quite a deep hovel. Uh, and as you approach it, you notice this... Um, this woman with like frizzy ginger hair. You got, you're seeing her from behind. She's got f- frizzy ginger hair, um, and she's kind of got like mechanic gloves on. She's got goggles on, like over her head. Um, she's got kind of like a a crop top, but she's got like belts of different like mechanical gears and spanners. You could think like a mixture of Winry from Full Metal Alchemist, Meredith from Brave, and Brigitte from Overwatch. Like a mixture of thinking- those three. I was going Winry and uh, Miss Frizzle from the Magic School, School Bus. bus. Actually. <laughs> if you were to like mix those three characters together, that's Lissa. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. And uh, she's hamming a ro- a- away. Next to Lissa is a kind of uh, a-, a Steren who's slightly on the bigger side, but he's wearing like regular clothes, unlike the Sterans that were out in the field. Those um, were the uh, the creatures that like yeah the were really spacey afraid. like the, yeah okay all right all right the Sterans. And he, okay. he's there and he's um he's like passing her equipment every so often. Um, and uh, okay, so yeah, Verona, this looks like you more of your speed. Maybe you should go and talk to her. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right. So I just walk up and mm-hmm. like. Hey! All right, uh, I, I'm gonna. I, I have to attention. apologize in in advance. I'm gonna be. Tr- I'm gonna try my best with this voice. Might be terrible. You she- nailed the bartender. <laughs> this should be fine. Yeah, yeah, you got this. You've been on a roll. Gonna actually gonna mute real quick to test it. Hold up. This is gonna be fun. I have the anticipation. She turns around and goes, "Ah, hello there. It's a uh, uh, oh." You're an interesting little fella, aren't you? I like uh, it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You I, can uh... say that. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, what's your name? What you up in here, my place for? Uh, my name is Verona. These are my associates, Verona? my friends, if you will. What a lovely yes. name. That's quite a feminine name for a guy like you. Well, I I tend to be a little bit feminine sometimes. Ah. So well, it works out. That's great. What are you, what are you lot here for? Well, let's just say. There's a whole lot of you. Being... <laughs> take a seat. I'm being. Ah, ah, my, 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 my is, ah, what's this rude little ass? Ah, let me can take a seat. Take a seat. All right. Let me get you right, happy, so happy. He, he, she goes, uh, hey, happy, happy. Go uh, get them some tea or something. And happy goes, yes. And uh, happy starts like making some tea for you guys. And then uh, pulls up some chairs and like gives, gives each individual person like a little mug of tea. All right, right. I ain't had a customer in a little while. Not a lot of these people in this black market are super interested in like mechanical things or stuff. What are you lot interested in? You're the you're the uh, you're the uh, leader up here, Verona. Uh, no, I'm just the one that mm. tinkers he's, with things. He's the mechanic of our little group. Oh, um, you're yeah. you're a mechanic. It's been a hot minute since I've seen another mechanic up in here. What do you make? Can you show me something of yours? Uh, well, I have this fancy little bullet right here that can send ah. someone to the depths of. She like another realm. She gets up close to it and like takes a look at it, like some sort of a banishment bullet, eh? It, exactly. This like is a banishment bullet. That's real impressive of you. When it manages to actually hit something. Oh, this is good tea. Just fucking tea. Just like. <laughs> Just laughing. <laughs> just saying. Listen, guys, it hits. It just doesn't work every time. Okay. That's true. But that's I, true. I, okay. I just, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't worry. I, I, I understand what that's like. I have plenty of fear this man, but a banishment bullet. I've been working on a few bullets on myself, actually. I, I've never done it. Can you show me how this sort of thing works? Can I? I, I assume you're not allowed me to. I'm not allowed to take it apart. It's your baby, after all. I understand. But do you, you got some sort of diagrams or something? This is very impressive. Mm. Well, now that you say that, perhaps we could make some sort of trade. Some sort of trade? To, I'd be willing to show you these, you know, magnificent inventions I have over here. But uh, we're kind of looking for something very particular. And I don't want to just come out and say it like somebody. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, we're, we're looking for a spaceship? Turns to look at Ragnar. <laughs> You're not looking for a spaceship? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you should have said like just open with oil, that. But... <laughs> no, we are looking for a type of ship that can leave the planet and travel to another planet. Right. Yes. Well, yeah. this is the black market, boys. We, come on. Let's, let's well, let me. Uh, Thank you, Ragnar. Just say it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that happy. We finally have someone who's coming here looking for a spaceship. Ah. Uh. I just want to say that is kind of funny that we just blurt it out to everybody else above ground. But once we're in the black market, that's when we decide to keep it safe. <laughs> just try it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's still really illegal. And fair, the guy, fair, the no, guy at the door didn't know what we were talking about. That's <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, wow. You lot, you lot look, look strong to me, right? Well, well where are you lot from? I, I ain't never seen anyone, anyone look like you lot before. Especially that little fellow over there, little pink hair and the horns. Oh, that's Pearl. Oh, that's Pearl. Pearl goes, hello, um, I'm Pearl. I'm a dragon. Yeah, that's just how we be. <laughs> um, <laughs> she is pretty. She's the mad G of the uh, little group we have here. Wow. We also have a bear. Oh, I Ragnar. Hi, my bear. name is Ragnar the Third. I can also the third. become the a third. bear. The Third? Wow. Yes. It's a very long Ragnar name, Ragnar. Me. Well, I, um. What happened to the first two Ragnar? Right. Duras would say. Well, I um, I got some good news and some bad news for your lot. All right, lay it on us. Good news is I know how to get you a spaceship if you need it. Mm. Uh, bad news is I don't know how to make a spaceship myself. That's pretty above my my uh, pay grade, uh, my my area of expertise. But I do know someone who does. But that's where okay. we get into the bad news. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, so, um, I ain't tell a lot of people this, but I'm a bit desperate right now. Uh, I was about to go off and do this myself, but you lot might be able to help me out here a little bit. Um, 
My granddad is a an expert spaceship manufacturer, um, but the uh, the problem is is uh, the Inquisitor. Yeah, you aware of the Inquisitor? C- Cornelius Dominius. Cornelius. Don't, yeah. Don't oh, say. Never mind. No, don't. Dominius is the emperor. Don't fucking say his name down here. I'm trying to. Fit right. In. So yeah, I, ain't a, I ain't a fan yeah. of that Dominius fellow. He he claims himself to be a god, but ain't no god treat the Steren like he did. You know. Exactly. It's horrible. Isn't that right, That's Happy? So Happy goes. Yeah. We are unhappy with Dominius, but Lissa make me happy. And I just want to say, Happy, you make an amazing cup of tea. Yeah, he's real good at that. I told him he didn't have to do any sort of manual work, but he seems to be happy with doing it. Uh, this is Happy, by the way. He's a, a friend of mine. Um, I, I saved him from uh, slavery a couple years back, and he, I asked what his name was, and he didn't have a name. Uh, so I said, uh, well, come up with a name for yourself then. And he decided to call himself Happy, because that's what he felt after I saved him. That's so um, precious. That's is this name. Dominius guy? Is he really, is he really strong? Mm. Uh, Dominius? Yeah. They, well, I've only ever heard legends about him. They say it's, mm. he's a thousand years old and he has the power of a god. Nobody can kill a god, right? Well, has anybody definitely. tried? <laughs> but um, but right, uh, my granddad, he right. ha- is actually building a spaceship. I don't ex- out in the um. In the in the in the um, wastelands a little bit, uh, you know, secretive spaceship. But of course, they, I even I don't know where it is. But they caught wind of his plans and um, they captured him. Inquisitor Cornelius has him captured. Um, the problem is, I have no idea where or what they're doing to him. We we regular folk like me aren't privy to that sort of information. Um, if you lot can help me find out where he's captured and rescue him, then I can guarantee you a spaceship. That's a that's a one for one trade I, I will be a hundred percent down for. That just seems like a back. that seems like a sweet deal. Um now when they captured him, they they don't know where the spaceship is, right? No, they don't know. That's what they're I assume interrogating him about. Right. Um but um I had a plan if you always want to hear my plan. Well, Before we continue too. this conversation, how old is your grandfather? No, William. I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I have to prepare. I'd say he's in his late sixties, early seventies. Oh, okay, okay, we yeah. should be all right. All right, right continue. Hold the <laughs> I'm only like I'm only about 20, 20 myself. Twenty one. Oh, no, I turned twenty one yeah, this year. That's all good. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, I'm slightly losing my accent. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change your fate, would you? That's the quote from Brave. That's what I do to try and get back into the accent. <laughs> I, <laughs> is that what you did when you muted yourself? That is what I did great. when I muted myself. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, <laughs> um, this is a bit personal information, but I've done a little bit of snooping around, and I found out the um, the uh, the Inquisitors are having a uh, a ball tonight. Ooh, that's tonight. Oh. Okay. You happen to be dressed for the ball. I right do here. notice that some of you are in t- sort of nice looking outfits. I wanted to inquire where you got clothes like that from because that's the part of the plan that I'm struggling with. My idea was I was going to infiltrate this ball and try and find out where they're keeping my granddad. And then You seem pretty cool. Uh, we broke into some guy's uh, shop and knocked him out and stole all this stuff. Did he have white hair? Yes. Yeah, that guy's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really yeah, we stole uh, we yeah. stole all of his money and his ledger here. I'm just you, you seem pretty cool, so I'll just uh, you know. Yeah, I would have I, I would have knocked him out if I could, yeah. but uh, you know we're I don't want to get in trouble. We're talking about building a spaceship here. That's pretty illegal. And on top of that, I don't think knocking someone out and stealing from them is like compared to that. So yeah, yeah. I guess we should be blunt on this planet. It seems to work right. every time. Well, yeah, really. This is my type of planet. I don't know if I, I, like, I want to go like home. Like this. Yeah, Ragnar is just <laughs> like <laughs> 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 Yeah. Fit all the slaves. For you. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh... Alright. Well, okay. So, do you, have, do you have any idea where this Cornelius guy would be? Even if you don't know where he's being held, your grandfather, he should be, like, Cornelius, does he have, like, a... Well, uh, my, I, my, my idea was, uh, they're having a, a, a fancy party, and in that... Right, right, okay. These are the sort of, these are the sort of places where they just freely talk about things. These Inquisitors love to gloat about things, especially if they have a high-value prisoner. My idea okay. was to 
sneak into there and try and gather some information. But I, well. I, I, Happy was trying to convince me not to do it because he'd just say I'd get myself killed, and I don't even know where to get these fancy costumes you guys got. Um, that I, guy's still probably knocked out. We could just go back and grab you some stuff. You know, that's well, we did tie him up too. We didn't tie him up, so yeah, yeah worst case scenario, you just have to knock him out again. We're fine. What I'm <laughs> right. Well. If you guys, I mean, I could come with you or not, but I don't know how much help I would be. If you guys infiltrate this uh, this bull in my in my stead and find the location of my granddad, and we, uh, if we, I'm sure we'd be able to sort out a spaceship yeah, for you right quick. Yeah, we could do that. Do you have a, like what your grandfather looks like so we know who we're looking for? I don't think he's going to be at the party, but his name is Aurelius. Right, but if we ask him and then we find out where he is, we might go from the party directly to go free him. So it's that like, sounds him because yeah. he's an old man. <laughs> no, I'm asking so we know who. I don't want to grab the wrong dude. You know, I think it's because you don't want to shoot the wrong dude. His so, name is what? Aurelius. 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 Okay. Aurelius. Don't get confused with Corny. I know don't a lot of kill a. Do not kill anyone that might look like an Aurelius. Okay. A lot of, yeah, we. Aurelius. All right. All right. And Verona, um, um, I mean, I'd still love to see how your bullets are made. The, uh, I'll if, tell you what. When we come back, I'll give you a couple. You sure? You can take them apart. Maybe I'll even show you a thing or two. I'm, I'm always... I seeing... feel like this is the best deal we're going to get with a spaceship, guys. I think we have to full send this. Let's do it. Right. Um... I will say though, guys, uh, if when you find out the location of my of my grandfather, if you do, um, before you go off all dilly dallying to rescue him, um, I can. I'm always here for more information. I mean, I assume you, you lot you lot seem like outsiders. I don't know why you need a spaceship, but wait, hold up, yeah, why why do you lot need a spaceship for? <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, if we're, we're, just, we're aliens. We're, yeah, just go for it. Yeah, like who yeah, just okay, points to well, Ragnar? Like just already out there. Uh, Take just dipping his tea, just <laughs> watching Straight up came <laughs> from another planet. You lot are aliens? I mean, we're, you're the aliens to us. I guess I would be the alien from your perspective. Well, where's but your... Yeah, we, wait, what happened to your spaceship then? Uh, it got shot down by some asshole named Helios. Helios? The Centurion yeah. of the 4th Division? Yeah, we tied him up and hit him inside of our you ship. You tied him up? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Oh, Helios. Yeah. <laughs> His cave is really pathetic, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Went yeah, down. He, he tried to Just arrest like us, and I, I, that was not very kind of him. I feel a little bad. Huh? I have to ask, though. Um, on our planet, we use, like, snails to communicate, but do you have any way of, like, communication? So if we find him or something, we can relay or talk to you or anything like that? Ah. You use snails to communicate? I don't yeah, even know psychic. what a snail is. Um, we have, they're like little gooey things with shells that can communicate psychically and we attach phone receivers to them. But that's the that's really the normal small. way of talking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she like quickly draws a picture of a snail and you mean like this? It, no. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a guffle. <laughs> a guffle. Okay, a guffle. You have, you, oh, guffle. All right, you have guffles on this planet. That's nice. Uh, no, we don't We don't have them as a form of communication. But we, what, we, what we do add, laddies, is... Uh, um, I've got something that I've been working on. <laughs> Throws it to Verona. Um, and, uh, I c it's something that you can do to, um, whilst you're walking, you can talk. Um, um, I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, I was thinking... Talk, talk walks. Yeah, talk walks or a talkie walkie. Talkie walkies. I, I like that. That rhymes. I like that. <laughs> Uh, I'll give it to you, Verona. You seem like the most, um, well, the one that I have the most in, in common with. And I, I've never really had anyone that I can really talk about my technology stuff before. Uh, most of the people here don't really care about it. They just, uh, so it'd be nice if you could, uh, give me a, a call, uh, he, she, uh, Verona, I think she's into you. <laughs> give me what does a, that mean? <laughs> you know into you you mean like talking into the thing yeah <laughs> okay thanks Kevin. i, 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 I uh, will do that <laughs> yeah i would uh, really appreciate it if you could give me a, a a you know communicate with me sometime over that we could talk about um i got i mean i got lots of inventions that i think you'd be interested in seeing 
Uh, speaking of which, you use bullets, right? I noticed your gun. It's Little Timmy. Little Timmy? What a great name. Yes. Sure, there's, a, this song? sure there's uh, a story yeah. behind that. Right. She pulls out some bullets and uh, <laughs> drops it in your hand. Um, take it. Uh, use some of those. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what do they do? They, uh, I've infused them with electric, uh, electrical energy so that when, uh, uh, when they hit their opponent, they um, uh, electrify them, stun them a little bit. That sounds fun. Wow. Uh, thank you. Oh, I can't wait to get hit by that. Like, immediately just kind of just like slouch a little and just put him in my coat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, uh, anything else about this ball you can tell us? Like, it, we're it, dressed it, it happens. Right. Looks at you guys seen the giant Somebody octagon? Hits you first. Yeah. <laughs> is it like a masked party or how does this work? Yeah. Right. Um. Yes, it is a masked party. I ah, have the masks. Good. Hold up. Okay, cool. She pulls out the mask and you get, she pulls out a bunch of silver looking masks and gives it Fancy. to you a lot. Yeah. They all look the same? Uh, yeah, roughly the same. Um, yeah, roughly the same. She okay, goes, they uh, just... Inquisitors wear um, animal themed masks, but if you're a centurion or a nobleman, you just wear a simple silver mask. Um, all right. Inquisitor Cornelius okay. uh, wears a, a mask that looks like a raven. Uh, okay. So that's Wait, how you no, we, saw a, we saw a statue of a guy wearing a raven. Is well, that, that must be that... a, a statue of Inquisitor Cornelius. He's the Inquisitor. Oh, great. Then we know what he looks like then. He's okay, the uh, cool. Inquisitor of this town. All right. Uh, you, you wouldn't you happen guys to have would... any uh, medical equipment, would you? Medical that equipment? Would ni- that would be nice to have. Yeah, we're all out of heels. Yeah. Because I think we rum- have like one. <laughs> she desperately <laughs> rummages through her drawers and such. And she uh, goes, ah, um, and she she pulls out like a couple of little vials of things, and she goes, "I have these little vials. Um, they uh, they kind of like heal up your wounds when you drink them." Okay. Uh, they're an invention of mine. Uh, I I was uh, working on them with my father before he passed. Um, he. Um, How many do you have? Got he. I got five of them. I would think I okay. call them um. um Let's call him a potion. <laughs> that's about right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. That's just go with that. Really right. Seems all right. With me. Now, if I drink this, will I decrease in size and turn into a gourd? What? <laughs> what the hell? What do you think that would happen? You'd be surprised <laughs> with my with my luck. You'd be surprised. You've been messing just with checking. some. You've been messing with some wacky, wacky, uh, wacky substances, are you? Yes. Thank well, you, though. Do you want do you want payment for these? We can give you some um, domains for your help my, and everything. Getting my grandpa back is enough payment as it is, but I mean, we are hurting for money, so if you have any domains oh. to spare, I'm not going to say no. I'll, I'll give her 20 domains. 20 domains? Wow. Yeah, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that's a lot. Oh, yeah, I can so just much. ask her. I can just ask her, okay, how much money does it cost to, like, what is considered, like, I don't know, enough domains to purchase a home in this city? That'll give me a good baseline. To purchase a home? Yeah. Decent place. De- a decent place? Uh, you're yeah. probably in the thousands of domains at that point. Okay, okay. So thousands for a house and probably like, you know, one or two for like a beer. So or not five domains for a piece of meat. <laughs> probably not. Probably yeah. not five domains uh, for a piece of a meat. A piece of okay. meat should be about, um, I'd say like a quarter domain. Well, I like that bartender. <laughs> he was a cool dude. Did you pay five domains for a piece of meat? Good. It was really good meat. <laughs> Where did you get the meat from? I don't know. The guy just threw it down on the counter and it we just started what, eating it. I mean, the what bar sword. did you go to, Numb Nuts? Oh, the Broken Sword, yeah. Ah, the Broken Sword. Yeah, they don't do good meat. It's definitely not worth five domains. It was pretty good. I liked it. I... <laughs> I swallowed it so fast it didn't even taste it. I mean, I'll, I'll, us, take your, you know? I'll take your 20 domains. I really much appreciate it. You're like, like a godsend, and I don't it's mean like, like... I dro- it's like I dropped fifty bucks for a Big Mac. Like, <laughs> That's essentially what you did. Yes, <laughs> twice, <laughs> twice. You dropped fifty bucks for a Big Mac. I gave him a hundred for the information. Oh my god! Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a that's a you gave him a grand essentially. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, now we at least have a reference I mean, point. I mean, it led yeah. us here. We can go rob <laughs> another old man. Ah. Uh, in I'm terms of real world 20, money, though. she's helping us out. Uh, she's helping us out. Okay. A, a domain is roughly like ten dollars, I'd say. 
All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right then. That was like I'm like wow that meat was really 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 good. I have to like, justify it in my brain now. Like wow that Big Mac was amazing. Okay. So where's oh, the party at? It's all right. The There's party is in um, to it's tonight. It's in the big um, octagon uh, like building. You guys are from outside, so you don't know about the um, the uh, what are they called? What are they called? We did. did the, uh, yeah, you saw the building. It's like um, yeah. I'm forgetting what it's called in real life. Town hall? No. Whatever uh, government building. It's like a the government the building. The octagon? Courthouse? I don't know. A courthouse? Pentagon? No, it's like a government building. It's like the White House, but uh, like a town hall. Whatever. The, it's the government building. <laughs> the government. It's the, the Thunderdome. <laughs> the Thunderdome. No, I'll just give him a fancy name. No, pavilion. It's a, it's an octagon. Okay, it's, it's the it's, octagon. We're heading to the octagon, everybody. All right, we're gonna go fight in the octagon tonight. All right. So, um, well, don't do any fighting. These inquisitors are a lot more powerful than. Well, I just need no, you to no, get no, information. Yeah, just, yeah, it's all right. You, yeah, you guys we'll, are we'll good be at... able to. We will rescue your grandfather, Aurelius. Uh, we will do this. You know, and... you know what? There's quite a lot of years. I think it might be a little too many. Um, I think maybe like four or five years should go, but the rest should stay here. Hmm. All right. So basically, it's a choice between NPCs. Okay. So uh, who do you guys think we should bring? Do you think we could get away one NPC or two NPCs? Who do you I think? I think just like take take one NPC just because it's just one so NPC. Many, you're not gonna you're not gonna get eight people to rock up at this party on. What do you think, Verona? I think we should take Pearl. Yeah, I think Pearl's the good yeah, choice here. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, she's boring. she's been with the crew for long enough. Um, okay, I think... Pearl, you gotta ask Cornelius to dance. It'll work out. Oh, yeah, that would work. Well, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far, but I, I mean, wouldn't do dance with Pearl. I, I can't see Pearl saying no to plan. Oh, uh, that <laughs> means I would have to go get like a like a fancy dress, right? We could go back to that shop and I think teach we. You guys guy have to go back to the shop anyway to get your stuff. Yeah, but. We we'll just skip over that and just we don't need okay. to role play. You go back in the shop getting the stuff, putting it on. Fair enough. The old man wakes just... up. We knock him out again. <laughs> knock him out again. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! He's like, oh, we got our 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 pants all soaked in the sewer. Your <laughs> pants, all right. Um, yeah. we'll okay, while we're doing the time skip, fun fact: my father's name was Ragnar, and so was his father, and so was his father. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So you're so Ragnar, wait, the, Ragnar fourth, the fourth. Nah, I'm Ragnar yeah. the third. My apologies. <laughs> okay, there my, we go. My great, my great grandfather, or my yeah, my great grandfather just Rag. Um, just okay. Rag. Oh. Okay, so it goes Rag, like Ragnar the first, Ragnar the second, Ragnar the third. Okay, I got you. So no, your oh, wait, great, get, yeah, no, no, Ragnar, your great great grandfather was called Rag, and your great great grandmother was called Nar. And when they had yes. their child, they were like, we should mix our names together, make Ragnar. <laughs> Exactly. And then you just named your kid Magnus. Yeah, you, you, you ruined whole... it. You messed up the line. The um, did line. I? Right? Uh, Magnus isn't my first son. Oh, drop in oh. the Where... lore. Hold up. This is important to me. Where is your first son? <laughs> uh, I'll, t I'll tell you between episodes. Oh, well, okay. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this I is just re stuff that Ragnar reveals whilst doing it. <laughs> SBS I guys. assume okay. Ragnar's first son is a lot older as well, because Magnus mm -hmm. is probably like 17. Well, I'm 48, and yeah, Magnus so... is like 15 or 16, so there's, there's right. a son. Yeah, too. maybe in his 20s. You could have yeah. a son in your 20s, easy. Oh, yeah, okay. gosh. All right, yeah. well, there oh, we man. go. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> the there, we go. Oh, yeah. there we go, Ragnar's son. You had another son. Uh, oh. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I look to Cyril and Louis and uh, Gravy, and I'm like, guys, I'd say just hang out here. Make sure don't, you know, just stay here. It looks like it's a relatively safe place. You can stay with Lissa. <laughs> Maybe try to find a little bit about the Gravy, place we're on. Gravy's but, like, know. I'm used to places like this. I'm sure yeah, I'll make I mean, some friends. Um, gather up some food. Just learn about the planet, you know, C basic Cyril, stuff. Cyril is um, looking around kind of nervously and goes, Ah, okay. Um, I think I'm going to hang out with, with Happy a little bit. He seems nice. I want to learn more about the Sterrens. Oh, they, these two seem like, okay. I, I'm, yeah, I, you, uh, you do that, Cyril. I don't you go, like buddy. it when people get oppressed. I... I want to help out. Yeah, and you're Louis, a marine. And Louis LeClock has been staring at Lissa the whole time, like, I have no oh, problem for staying here. Oui, oui. <laughs> Louis, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, yeah, I just safety, like. Louis, Louis uh... like, Doros doesn't quite understand what he's doing, but it's like, yes, ensure her safety. Good job, Louis. <laughs> Good job. Okay. I mean, she's not trying to kill us this time. Is there yeah. anything of note in the black market beyond uh, Lissa's shop? Uh, 
I mean, yes and no, I guess. I mean, they're, they're just selling, like, illegal substances and weapons, but, like, nothing that's really better than what you guys have. It's just weapons in general. Fair. You know, like, swords and stuff. There's, like, you know, drugs. <laughs> and Anybody want to buy any drugs? <laughs> um, some people are selling, like, like body parts. Ew, okay, that's gruesome. Weird All prosthetics. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I, I don't need to be here any longer. All right. Soon enough. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. So, so I we guess do the we're little getting ready. For the, the Devil's Luck Pirates are going to the ball. Then. We have a I little montage. My, we have a montage I of my chabot. <laughs> this is really funny too. So you guys, you know how people have montages where they get ready for a fancy party. Imagine oh, you guys, course. you guys are having that montage, but in the background of every shot is the unconscious body of the owner of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, are like, yeah, doesn't this look good in the background as a guy like? Ah. <laughs> Some like '90s like Britney Spears pop music is playing in the background. Hell yeah! <laughs> girls just wanna, wanna have fun. fun. Yeah. Girls just wanna <laughs> have fun. Uh, okay, so um, that's great. If this ever gets animated, this needs to be animated immediately. The first thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are all ready. The evening, it is now night time. You, um, you walk up to the entrance of the Octagon building. The great, the great hall, I'm going to call it the great hall. Okay. Um, the great hall. Um, outside the front, there is a man, uh, a centurion looking man, standing guard. He looks over at, at you lot. You guys are all wearing your silver masks mm -hmm. and your fancy dress, dresses, you know. You guys have cool suits on. Uh, with your jabos. Something I do want to address. How about our weapons? I'm well, imagining I could conceal my swords uh, under this getup, or true. if I'm wearing like a robe or something. You, I think you're all able to conceal your weapons. Okay. Uh, I right. do have to say to Duros, mm. you Ooh, cannot wear your armor. What? Uh, <laughs> not right. I can't. What do you mean? I just wear a robe over it, right? You're not wearing. You're wearing this like. Fancy armor is too big and too mm. suspicious. You can't just strip me. Like you got to. Oh. What about his shield? Armor. What about the shield? Uh, the shield. Oh, yeah, I can't get rid of the shield. The shield he can kind of hide. Uh, also, here's a cool thing about the shield. It's got like these uh, spikes things coming out of it, but it kind of compacts as well, so it can become oh. like a square. Okay. Yeah. It's a retractable so it's like, shield. <laughs> so you can keep the shield yeah, and the sword on you, armor. but you can't have your armor. Just is. So. I I assume oh. you'll just leave your armor with Lissa. Probably. And the rest oh. of the crew. I know. That's it'll be okay, Juros. It'll, it'll be okay. I miss him already. <laughs> what about his helmet? Can't even wear his helmet? No. Nothing? Nothing. No, okay. All right. Uh, Ragnar's... Ragnar, you're technically wearing clothes now, so you don't have the barbarian wearing no clothes bonuses. I thought it was wearing no armor. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it said that I don't wear. I'm not. I don't think the chip gives it. It's no clothes. Okay, fair enough. Know? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I'm imagining Ragnar is just wearing it's a called pink unarmored cloak. defense. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I don't think. I think Ragnar is just wearing the jabo and the big cloak yeah. with the axe and like hidden. Yeah, so yeah. you can't. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, Verona and William. It's sort of the you're not getting all your armor benefits either. Um, That's fine. Yeah. So you guys are in casual clothes. Uh, okay. I mean, you're trying to do this without getting into a fight. Right. So. so that means like robes to hide our weapons and yeah, stuff. And that's... And... Okay. All right. So you yeah. guys, uh, the, the man looks at you, he looks at your masks and he, he like inspects them and then nods. And you notice that the masks are kind of used as a way of uh, uh, verifying that you are of noble birth. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And then he lets you in. Ooh, okay. And just there's some people hanging around outside, but it's just because they haven't gone in yet. But Praise the menace. Yeah. Praise the menace. Praise the menace. <laughs> for the menace. For the menace. For the menace. It's all you, for him. You yeah. enter through these big double doors, and then you enter into this huge, like, ballroom. And there are people dancing. There's crowds of noblemen and centurions and such, and they're all dancing and having fun. Piano or violin? Um, full fucking band. Oh, Both wow. a piano and a violin. Music's yeah. playing. Um, it's in unusual music. It's not really music that you've heard before. Yeah, it's it, it's it's like... It's in a weird key. It's like it's like um 
it's like if Walt's music was in the wrong key. <laughs> um, that it, it sounds kind of weird to you, but it doesn't sound weird to them. Um, and okay. you, there's tables where people are eating and drinking and stuff. And um, immediately as you enter, you can you you can see people have their like silvery masks and stuff. Every, everyone's wearing a mask, but then there are three people that are wearing different masks than everyone else. There's one man who has this maroon and purple um, jacket with his jabot. He's got kind of you know like the wigs that judges wear. The um, yeah, like, like a back Victorian, in the day. Like, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Elizabethan uh, wig on the back with a little ponytail and he's got mm. a raven silver mask and he has a cane um, but not only does he have a cane but uh, to either side of him are two floating kind of spectral hands that, that are like uh, he's drinking with so he's, he's standing there with the cane like this you know cane on the ground and he has these gi giant hands that are like picking up food and, and pretty much doing everything for him uh, mm, it, okay. it kind of seems like he's controlling um then there's another man, he's a bigger buffer man. He's wearing similar sort of clothes, um, but he has a giant, uh, he's got like a pig silver mask. Um, he's talking to a group of people. Uh, and then there's, a, there's one that's sitting by themselves. Uh, they're, they're a lot more slender. They're still wearing a, um, the same sort of clothing, uh, but they've got like long black hair. Uh, sorry, they've short black hair, not long black hair. They've got short black hair. Um, and they've got a fox mask on. Okay. So raven, a pig, and a fox. Raven, a pig, and a fox. Um, okay. You notice that the the raven uh, walks over to the pig, and they're starting to talk to each other. Right. That's like on the other side of the room. That's like just sort of on the see. other side, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Um, I walk up to an empty table, like everybody, just like, all right, so that seems to be our guy over there, I guess. Now... Uh, I activate my devil fruit power. <laughs> no, 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 not to fight. It's just it's in just, case. This is, I, no, not even that. It's like, I'm a rogue. I have to, this is like, but this is a thing. So I got to see every trick in my book. Maybe I'll roll okay. power that lets me mind wipe him or something. And I just instantly, you know, who knows? All right, <laughs> All right let's get up the spreadsheet then. Roll, All right. roll that dice, roll know. that full. <laughs> I... I might roll that pet pet fruit again that I used on Trevor. That'll make yeah. this whole thing so much yeah. easier. I mean, know. if not... Five! I, I have a point. Five! 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 My guy rolled a five! <laughs> it's going to be the best yeah. devil fruit yet, it's and we're not going to fight. One. Uh, oh, well, man. So, cannon. chat, uh, the, uh, the raw 20 is actually glitching out for me a little bit, as in it's getting... Oh, there we go. That's what I can see. Okay, there we go. Five. That means you get... It's the yes. Kilo Kilo fruit that, um, oh, what's okay. her name it's uses. Oh, okay, Valentine's fruit. Okay, yeah, Miss okay. Valentine. All right. Yeah. All right. I know that off the top oh, of his head. Okay. Yeah, it's the Kilo Kilo fruit. It's the Kilo Kilo fruit, dude. Of Don't course, you remember Miss Valentine? I, I do want to say this. If you got a six, you would have got Robin's fruit. Ah. Oh, ah, oh, that, that would have been so, so goddamn useful. So much better. Oh. I figure, uh... All right, back in character. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I take out one, uh, Dom Domus. Okay. Yeah. And I would like to animate it. Okay, you well, animated kind Domus. Of, you know, away from... Trying this yeah. again. Tell it to shut up this time before <laughs> yeah. you activate it. <laughs> you animate the Domus. I mean, like, I imagine it's pretty loud in here with all the yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. It's fair probably enough, just not yeah. going to make that much of a rag. Yeah. All right, you animate the... just screams. <laughs> you animate the Domus, and the Domus goes... Ugh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> What the oh fuck? god, even the money <laughs> Why is he like the bartender? Listen, I haven't been able to get that guy's <laughs> thoughts out of my head all day, okay? <laughs> I don't know what he was talking about, I'm sorry. You alright? But, yeah. listen, you need to be quiet, for one. But for two, I need you to run over to that guy with the raven mask, and then I'm just gonna listen, okay? You alright? Alright, let me go and vote yeah, I here. said be quiet. <laughs> <All right. laughs> It's the one order they're not right. great at, you know. He, he runs over. All right, Verona. This is All what right. you overhear. Ears are open. Uh, ears are open. Hold up. My Google Chrome is fucking up, and I can't get access my document. Please, I need you. Okay. So, Inquisitor Cornelius, the guy with the raven mask. He is... I'm just getting it up on my phone, because it's easier. He is talking to this other Inquisitor. Um... Uh, 
and this is what he is saying. You you overhear it halfway through conversation. Here we go. Okay. Um. He goes. So, Maximus, how are things going in your domain? You having a good time torturing your Sterin? I know you very much enjoy that. I think as brutish myself, I would never even lay a hand on a Sterin, but rumor has it that you sure love to hear the pain that they uh, produce. Yeah. I, uh, the quiz for Maximus responds, I just love the way they squeal. They have their own funky little language that I like to hear the noises they make when they're in pain. <laughs> You're so brutish, but I have to admire that you have a hobby. <laughs> you hear about what Dominius has been planning? You mean the, uh, the thing he's making? Yes. Ah. Uh. Uh, praise Dominius, by the way. He's a very, uh... I think he's tired of this little planet, or... He wants to, um... Create some kind of weapon. Yeah. I mean, he's been draining my city of supplies for... For months and months for that damn thing. I hope it gets finished soon. <laughs> I imagine it will. But, uh... Regardless, you hear about Helios? <laughs> <So> <laughs> we we kind of like, we, yeah, well, only, I guess only Veronica I'll, I'll just hear. be relate to what. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, kind of yeah. telling you what I hear. That way we'll save time. Helios? You mean, uh, the, one of your centurions? The, that kid? Yeah, he's he's gone missing. Hey. Well, what's the loss, right? He was kind of shit of his job anyway. Kind of pathetic. Why did you even hire him? I had to. His sister's an inquisitor, and it, you know, you know how nepotism's like. I mean, you're only an inquisitor because your father was one. Hey, don't insult me like that. I'm one of the best inquisitors there is. <laughs> You've always had a good sense of humor, Maximus. No, Helios is pathetic. He's terrible at his job, and he doesn't know what he's doing. I honestly feel sorry for the boy if he wasn't so annoying to look at. Eh. <sighs> I'm glad that he's missing, honestly. I hope he turns up dead. <laughs> Maximum loss. I suddenly feel bad for this Helios guy. These guys are assholes, <laughs> kind of, you know? Oh, wow. Uh, That's unfortunate. Good thing you we didn't kill him, right? You don't find out yeah. anything about um, Aurelius, because they're not talking about him. But that's what right, they're talking okay. about at the moment. Mm, okay. Okay. These guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they suck. Who the hell does that? Just hangs out a ball and talks about how much they're assholes to their slaves. These guys are dicks. Yeah. Oh God. All right. All right, Pearl, you're up. Uh, what? What do you? Huh? Hello. That was a joke. Oh, I, I uh, don't want to interrupt we can't that Cornelius guy. With this guy. <laughs> right, Theros. Come on, back me up. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a great idea. Just um, dance. I really I don't think that's them. a good idea. To I... ask Cornelius to dance. Maybe, you, I don't know. You? you don't know which Ragnar? way to... I mean, Rustich, I just want to ask a quick question involving the area. I'm picturing a domed building yes. with, like, a glass roof. Kinda. Okay. That's all it's I not, it's not entirely. So, once you're inside, there's actually quite a lot of stained glass windows. Ooh. Um, okay. Picturing Emperor Dominius in various different poses. Okay. But is it like a high ceiling? That's very, what I needed. Very okay. high. I'm talking. That's all I needed to know in case we needed to do stuff. That's all I need. <laughs> all right. Well, You're not. We shouldn't. We You're shouldn't attack much. No, no, no. I'm just getting a layout of the land. All right. That's just. <laughs> I just want to. I clarifying questions. That's all I wanted to know. All right. Okay. So other than a Pearl asking Cornelius to dance, what other ideas do we have? Well, okay. The whole idea of me rolling a brainwashing fruit did not work out. So. You can, um, you can re roll. Can I do that? Does yeah. it count as a second roll? Yeah, it does count as a second roll. I do have mm. extra. So I can roll my, for everyone watching at home, I can now roll it five times. I used it once for the, the stoic fruit and then another one for the kilo fruit. Um, you so I, have three, I have three rolls you got left. three remaining. The odds are definitely in your favor of getting a brain. All right, I it. mean, like, there's not yeah, much I can do seems... with this. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if I rolled Robin's fruit, that could have been maybe useful in this scenario. But, I don't think right, it, I, it, if there's if there's a brainwashing fruit, there's only one. So you got a one in four hundred chance. 
Oh, I'm good. 410 chance. Whatever. Let's roll again. Okay, what's your number? Are you doing it? 344? Like You're actually right. doing it. All right. 344. Just one more chance. I'm not going to waste any more, but who knows? Oh. You can what create compasses on your body that locate objects or living organisms that you've come into contact with. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Oh it has to be something you've come up with later, though. Like, if the guy leaves, we can just find him again, see where he goes, but... That's useful, maybe. But we can't do that, because he's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to go away. And... Mm. But, but any, anything that you've come into contact with in your life now, you can, you can track. All right. What if it was like a hair or something? Could I find the person it comes from? <laughs> well, no, you'd be able to find the hair. Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah. that was one idea. All right. Well, well, we can follow Cornelius back to like, or like I don't know, track Cornelius when he goes back to. Uh, it's like a well, fever code. Our man. Fruit only lasts so long, though. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, it, yeah, it does, it'll go away. I was like, other than doing Let's the, kill them. Uh, <laughs> other than trying, no, we're we in the middle die. of the ballroom. <laughs> That's gonna end badly. Other than trying to follow him, which I, I'll, I'll try to follow him because I'm like stealthy and stuff. Um, other than that, and or like the pearl strategy to try to like use her wiles on him or whatever, like I I don't know how else. Well, we're gonna we find we're well, um we're nobles right now. We're in disguise, right? Yes, yes. They seem pretty. They like to they they like bragging about evil things they did. That's right. Hmm. Well, Ragnar did maybe, maybe just brag it. back. Yeah. And try to out brag them. All right. And then maybe they'll keep revealing more and more information. How about we all? Head, how about we all go to different parts of the uh, ballroom then, and we all just try to, you know, figure out where this Cornelius guy would keep his prisoners. All right. So do you, who, okay. Who do you want to right. ask? There's obviously there's the three inquisitors um, mm -hmm. with their different masks: Raven Pig, or you know Cornelius Maximus, and then one that you don't know the name of, um, and then various nobles and centurions uh, scattered around. You can't really tell them apart. They're all wearing the same thing. So. All right. Uh. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Uh, really quick, just to get an idea of like what a normal like name is in this area. I'm gonna look in that ledger. Is there any like just a random name that he has in the ledger, just so I know like I'm not saying something weird here. Uh. Okay. okay. So. Okay. You flick through, um, and at the back. There is actually a couple names of people that he owes money to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Valerian. Okay. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with Valerian. I'm gonna go with okay. Valerian. First one's good. That sounds great. Right. Sounds Game Sweet. of Thrones ish. Okay. <laughs> you can kind of get the idea that a lot of the names are, uh, I'd say, Latin Greek adjacent. Okay. They're not. They're not actually Latin or Greek names, but they sound like they could be. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna. I'm going to head up to one of those guys with the animal masks and I'm going to try to talk to them and just see where it goes. All right. If you want to go and talk to some other people around the room, that's see what that goes. Okay. 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 What are the names of the slaves again? On this, oh, yeah. On this Steril. World? Steril. Steril. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the put... full name is Steren Kind is their full name and they uh, say they're called Steren. S T E R R E N. Steren. Okay, can staring. I keep my coin with William just so I can hear what he's talking about in case yeah. he needs yep, to yep, yep. so I can put it in his pocket. Hey, your little buddy. Also, I'll just show you. Here. I'll show you the ledger too in the back page, so you can pick out names of like to use as well, so you don't, you know. Oh, I'll I think, I no offense, I to Ragnar. I don't think if you yeah. introduce yourself, well, you could introduce yourself as Ragnar the Third. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, I am Ragnar the Third. I, think I, can, I can pull off the it's, it's worked off. It's worked out so well for you anyway. I mean, you yeah. could. You Paul goes. You could be like. Uh, Ragnelius. Yeah. No, Ragnelius. Ragnelius okay. the third. <laughs> you going to go? All right. Good luck, William. <laughs> All right. Okay, William, who are you going to? I'm gonna walk up in a very fancy way to the guy with the uh, the pig mask. Uh, Maximus. Okay. Cornelius Maximus. is like they finished their conversation, or Cornelius is now just drinking tea, maybe okay. talking to some lesser nobles. You walk up to Maximus. Okay. Maximus. In a very fancy way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, hello there. I am Lord Valerian. I'm new to this. I, this is the first time attending such a great festival. Lord Valerian. Hmm. I've not heard that name. But then again, I don't know many nobles. <laughs> if you're not from oh, my town. 
It's fine, it's fine. I keep a low profile, well, as low as you can, given that we are nobles. We are pretty great, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got this guy, guys. <laughs> you nobles right. with your high egos. Not as great as us inquisitors, huh? No, no, we couldn't dare for that, but, you know... It's better than those steerings, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got a few steerings of yourself, right? Yeah, I ran into some of them out in, you know, well, well, well I mean, I steerings that you own, right? Of, of course, yes. How do you, absolutely. how do you, how do you look after them? Oh well, uh, poorly, you right? Know, I, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yes, it's great. I, I, I force them to dig stuff out of the desert, and they uh, just keep for, working for you, right? For cursed objects all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait. Away. That was why, why would you be looking for cursed objects? That was that was a joke, my good man. That was a joke. If you want me to roll deception for that, I'll I'll do that. <laughs> roll yeah. a deception for that being a joke, yeah. Because that's I not did. what you should have said. <laughs> that is not what I should have said. Perception His face or drops. Deception? Do deception, Wait. deception, deception, okay. to, to lie and say it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you have a sense of humor about you. It was a joke, you. my good man. I'm uh, a like, glorious joke. Can we get some drink over here? Uh, and like, I kind of like uh, <laughs> usher to one of the, damn it. All right. I let that Do you drinks? Hello. I am Ragnelius the Third, a friend of. Uh, this is my colleague, Ragnelius the Third. I'm gonna guess I'm just, I was just sitting there at the table repeating what William and him are talking about. <laughs> right now. He, that just runs yeah. over. Yeah. It's, yeah. Great, yeah. I'm, I'm in. That's good. Yeah. it's definitely the smart move to send Ragnar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sent himself. Like. Ragnelius the Third. This is my new colleague uh, Maximus the Inquisitor. I'm sure oh, you've heard all oh. of him. We're not colleagues. Know your place. Ah, uh, you're not even uh, noble in my city. I'm sorry, I apologize, sir. All right. It's just that I like to gather connections around here. You know how it is. Yeah, of that's course. what. That's both of the reason that these bulls are for. But people aren't so blunt about it. But uh, you know what? I kind of admire that. I'm always sick of these things. You got like nobles coming up. They're being real nice to you. They want, exactly. All they want is money or something. At yes, least you're fucking exactly. clear about that's what you want. I'm gonna come and out and write. And Ragnelius, my friend, is the same way. We just tell you directly as it is. So, yeah. for example, like, if you were to have, like, prisoners in your hold, where would you put them exactly? In my hold? Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm sure you have an awesome hold. I, uh, I just torture them. Uh, yeah, like, I don't have do... many prisoners myself. I just hang the steerings up at night. It's a lot How fun. about, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ragnelius. <Christ>. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. Oh, Ragnelius. Yeah. <laughs> Ha! What is a... <laughs> well, can I ask a question of myself? Are uh, you nobles uh, of this city, of Astacampos? Or are you uh, foreign nobles of other cities? We're from uh, one city over to the east, of course. To the east? Yes. What city are you from? Uh, Thelos. Thelos? It's, uh, it's like four, the uh, four cities over. Uh, I'm not the... I, I'm yeah, he's, yeah, he's from a different city. A We've different met city. through different... Yeah, we you met through... Of spells, of course. It's a yeah, great we, city. I don't really know much about cities really? besides my own and and uh, the capital. I barely I knew the name of Asta Campos, but I was invited here. I assume you lot were invited. Why did you come to the uh, to Cornelius's ball? To make connections, of course. In fact, I was thinking about discussing some matter of business with Cornelius himself. With Cornelius himself. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't want to presume that I could just walk up to him, so hence But you could I presume thought, that you could walk up to me. <laughs> you, you seem like a jovial man, and I would, I, I just saw you from a distance. I thought that you seemed very, uh, very powerful yeah, in the city. Because I'm not the inquisitor of this city. I'm less important when I'm not in my own city. Listen, uh, buddy. I get it. I see where it you is. You see uh -huh. these fancy statues of Cornelius outside. My statues are even bigger in my city. I'm sure they are. I would love to visit someday, yes. Yeah? Yeah? Do you? Th yes, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> well, now... Uh, you're formally invited. <laughs> oh, Hell thank yeah. you. I'm hosting yes. a I'm hosting Can I a get ball. an invite for my friend Ragnelius the third as well? Yeah, sure. I want as many people as there possible. You guys seem like, well, you seem weird, but you know what? <laughs> I think I need that. I'm having a way more exciting party than this in a in a few days over in my. Yeah, this this party kind of blows. Like, can we get another drink here, please? <laughs> please? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> you guys got bulls. You guys got bulls. Uh, you want to share torture techniques? Well, like I said, I, I hang my stereo. You up hang them, but like so you don't kill them. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But like close enough, you know. <laughs> actually interested in do you know any of uh, cornelius's techniques i want to have something to talk to him about cornelius doesn't I like torture him. oh he doesn't oh. He, he actually scoffs at the idea that i torture them he feels like it's a waste of time i don't well, know what, what he does he to do? his prisoner you'd have to ask him yourself what does he do for fun god damn it uh <laughs> he likes fighting uh he likes not fighting he likes watching gladiatorial fights mm. that's all does i he know the starin's fight Oh, yeah, he makes those Sterans fight. But Sterans are boring. They do one yeah. thing, and that's it. They don't know how to grapple like we do. Absolutely. Uh, I noticed the glad I noticed the arena here in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, always, he always watches those. He loves them. Ah. So he's a man that loves sports entertainment, you would say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't really like, he loves, you know, fine wine and, and classical music and uh, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So you, he wouldn't seem like the person who w was into sports, but he he loves watching them fight. That's something that he has. I and I get that. Yeah, I respect that. So you know, it's one of the only things we share in common, really. I see. I see. Thank you so much for t explaining that to me. Oh, man. of course, of course. Right. Well, uh, you want me to introduce you to him? If, if uh, you could, it would be nice. That, yes. Yeah, yes, you, you guys seem like, uh, I mean, you guys seem it's weird. Fun. And I think <laughs> I'd love to make him uncomfortable. My God, he's such, <laughs> he's such a snob. He's such a snob, I think. Uh, man. Oh, my God. And if he, guys kills, if he kills you as well, that'd be so funny. All right, I got to introduce you guys. I got to introduce you guys. I don't think that would be funny. Nah, that would be hilarious. Come on, man. All right. Right. So he, um, I, like Ver I, I speak, nope. I speak into the coin on my shoulder. I'm like, Verona, I don't know where this is going to go, man. So just roll with it, okay? Hey, hey William, <laughs> hey, William, please ask the right questions. I'm just here talking about torturing he, he leads you. He leads you over to Cornelius. Uh, just before he does that, Verona and Pearl and Durus, are you guys doing anything or are you just sitting there? Do you want to talk to anyone else and find inf and any other information that you're curious about? Are you doing anything else? Would you guys like us to? Do you guys have anything we need? No, to I mean, I, I thought we were all gonna like scatter and go talk to other yeah. various. Yeah, because there's still yeah. that. There's still the other Inquisitor with the fox mask that you can talk to. Yes, I, I suppose I could Durus. try and mosey up to him. Okay. Okay. Duras, can I just wanna... like? Can... Go ahead. Sorry, Verona. You know. I was gonna say, can I just do like a stealth roll to just like blend in with the crowd, just in general, so I can just be needed anywhere. Uh, like if something goes wrong. To do what? Sorry. Just like blend in with the crowd. To do so, to do what to blend so, in like, with the crowd? So nobody knows. Oh I'm yeah, there. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you could do like a, I, I don't know, a stealth or whatever to blend in. All right. Uh, what did you get? Ooh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. You blend in with the crowd. You barely exist. You barely exist. I'm just listening to my coin, checking up on everybody. Sounds good. Okay, so, um, we 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 haven't hit the two-hour mark in terms of the recording, so we can do this quickly. We can. Um, it's just we've been we took a while before we actually started. So I know people are yeah. doing uptime, but we're yeah. not quite finished yet. Duros, uh, and I guess Pearl, you're going to approach this other Inquisitor real quick. Yes, we'll approach the Fox Inquisitor. I yes. Think, yes. The uh, the Fox Inquisitor is uh, sitting there, kind of like bored, it looks like. She kind of looks up at you, but doesn't really pay you any mind. What do you say? Well, hello there. You seem alone. May I keep you some company? She doesn't respond. And then there's a silence, and then she goes, Uh, are you, um, you talking to me? I, of course, am talking to you, my lady. <laughs> Why? I, I really wish to, uh, meet your acquaintance, find out more about you. Why? And perhaps also to rattle each other's brains. Because, you know, I'll be very straightforward. We all have things that we wish to talk about. No. Correct? I'll pass. Doesn't interest me. Hmm. Then perhaps something that we are willing to share? No. You're boring me. Leave. Hmm. Mm. What do you think? What about you, Pearl? You want to try something? Uh, she seems a bit mean. 
<laughs> I don't know. I hate people like this. I, um... No, I'm not... Oh. Uh, no, I just... I don't know, Doris, if there's anyone who can crack it, it's probably you. Ah. Uh, should I should I roll some... Well then, Doris just sits down right in front. That sounds like a tough cracker. Hey. She, ah. she is taken aback and goes, <laughs> Do you not know your place? Uh, a ball, I believe, is where we're at. <laughs> jokes? You like jokes? Is Well, I like many of things. And perhaps maybe I do like you as well. She pauses for a second. You're a weird one. Who are you? Well, actually, my name is Duros, but... <laughs> Duros. Yes. yes. I... I'm intrigued. Are you not scared of me? Well, everyone can be scary at times, but we can all meet each other's acquaintance and see something else. You know one something else. wrong move, and I could get you killed. Does that not well, frighten you? We don't make a wrong move, then. You're weird. You're ah. strange. I don't like you. You make me no, uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I make you uncomfortable, but at the same time, you know what? We can make each other very comfortable. Would you like a drink? She has a drink in her hand. <laughs> and looks oh, at you. I love oh, man. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, while this conversation is happening, we'll cut back to Cordelius and um, yeah. Maximus. I love, I love that. By the way, though, I think it's a perfect. It's a, it's a, it's just a perfect juxtaposition. Um, so yeah. William and Rag, Ragnolius, uh, Ragnolius uh, approach Cornelius with Maximus, and Maximus goes, "Cornelius, I got some people you want to meet. Uh, what did he call it? Something beginning with V and." Lord Valerian, sir. Lord Valerian and Lord Ragnalius, or whatever the fuck. Ragnelius. Ragnelius. Ragnelius the third, thank you. Uh, they got some things they want to ask you, and I said I'd introduce them. Cornelius looks around and goes, They? They have something they want to ask me? <laughs> Better make it uh, important. I don't like having my time wasted by a bunch of lower class um, vermin. Uh... Yes. What? What would you? Uh, what would you ask of me, the Great Lord Inquisitor Cornelius, High Lord Inquisitor, Inquisitor Cornelius the Tenth? What? What did you say? I said Ragnar. Go ahead. Right. Ra oh, you're 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 leaving this on I, me. I'm just gonna go blunt with it. Why not? <laughs> well, I have I have a line too. If you want me to go, mm -hmm. I can go first too. It just seems most nobles are uh, very scared to come and approach you, and uh, this, is, this is a ball after all, so I, I, I figured I'd introduce myself. My name's Regnelius III. Um, the th I hear you. The third, yes. <laughs> With a stupid name like that, I, uh, I'm surprised they named their children after themselves. <laughs> if I was called Ragnelius, I'd be ashamed to call my son Ragnelius. <laughs> Good thing I called my son Magnus. Magnus, that's even worse, my boy. You're, um... Not so smart up here, are you? No, but I'm strong. The strongest <laughs> noble, I'd say. The strongest <laughs> noble. I you. hear you enjoy watching strong people fight in the uh, in the Colosseum. Oh, I sure do. I've got a really exciting match coming up. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Have you ever had nobles fight? Pretty unheard of. Oh right? no, I just I just have my prisoners fight. Mm, I bet you I could kick your prisoner's ass. You could kick my prisoner's ass? Well, I have a I have a prisoner coming up right now. Uh, what's he, his name? What's his name? Yeah, yes. don't bother learning names. He's a mechanic, but I told him that he could use some like of his fancy little gizmos in the battle. Right, right. He's yes. a mechanic. Mm. He's an old man, and I was originally going to have him fight the beast, but if you want to fight him first. I would be my to. guest. I would love to. Oh, yeah. great, uh, I, 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 Maximus. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Ragnar, you should, you should fight him. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Maximus. Yeah, I mean, not normally do you <laughs> approach me with such a don't take pride in their strength, but I'm the strongest noble by far. <laughs> he Ma is, you know. Maximus, my boy, 
I am not normally you you show me someone that is so interesting. Right. So, R Ragnelius the 3rd tomorrow at noon. Um I expect you to be at the Colosseum. I will uh I'll equip you with the uh, finest armor I can think of. <laughs> Unless you he prefer does, fighting without armor. He does armor. not need armor. You He's the not... finest warrior. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't wear armor. Although I do wield a nice axe. Well. Uh, However, a... I, I will say, if I'm going to be fighting one of your strong prisoners or whatever, like, what, what do I get out of winning? Like, if, if I lose, I don't want anything. Let, let them kill it me. It is already I, an I don't honor. Lose. It is an honor to be fighting in my arena. But... I suppose there could be a reward in it for you. You know what? You're not of my uh, domain, are you? I will no, give I'm you not. a small plot of land in my city if you win. Mm. Then well, you could be a, a lord of two cities. <laughs> ah. Lord, man. That sound good to you, my boy? I will, I will name the city Ragnelius. Well. I know you like it so much. I'm not saying I'm giving you a, I'm giving you like a house. Oh, okay. Like a plot of land. Plot of land. Okay, okay. Don't go ahead of yourself, boy. So oh, I, I always misunderstood you, my apologies. Yeah, of course, of course. I can't wait to become the champion of your, your fighting arena. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm... He rubs his hands together. This is going to be so exciting. To be continued.